Carl Zimmer. Hey, we're officially live. Everybody can see us and hear us now. Uh, as always, uh, everybody say something so chat can check mics and make sure we're good. Hello. hello. Can we hello. harmonize? Hello. 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 <laughs> All right, everyone can see us. They can hear us. Uh, as, <laughs> hello. As, as, <laughs> hello. As usual, chat, if we freeze up, we drop audio, anything, just let us know. We'll get it fixed as quick as we can. Sometimes there are technical uh, difficulties, but we'll work our way through. This is our weekly Cyberpunk Red official gameplay for Sirenscape. We do this every Thursday right here, same time, same place. Uh, this is the session one of our new campaign. Uh, don't call it a comeback. Uh, but before we get into uh, just a little kind of setup of where the team left off leading into this, let's do like we always do. Um, oh, can't hear Rockette. She's uh, not talking. I didn't say anything. Chips. I had a. She was eating. She was chewing. Pretzel in my mouth. I couldn't. I couldn't harmonize, or else there was going to be pretzel everywhere. <laughs> Coward. That's funny. All right. Uh, yeah. Before we get into it, let's go around the table. Everybody, uh, let's introduce ourselves. Tell people where they can find you online and the uh, the character that you're playing today. Uh, Rockette, start it off. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Rocket Fox. You may remember me from such hits as being here last week and also from uh, playing your very favorite Netrunner, Hades, who likes to cause all the chaos in the world and flicker the lights and come over the um, to the talking machines and make all <laughs> of the holograms do all of the things and such like that. Um, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Uh, but when I'm not doing that, you can find me in all of the places where Rocket Foxes can be found. Most often over on my own Twitch channel, where as of late I'm playing a lot of Bio Mutant. It is a post-apocalyptic game with lots of anthropomorphic animals, lots of clothes changing. Um, you can ride around on a lot of other animals in a non creepy way um <laughs> it's it's a great game it's a lot of fun um and i also have a podcast called fantastically strange check it out it's weird nice perfectly done ellen sure hello everyone i am ellen uh from baby beard media with my lovely uh co-worker colleague friend phil who sits below me uh, and we make TTRPG and RPG content. You can check out our TTRPG podcast, Roll to Cast. That's R-O-L-E on all good podcatchers, Spotify, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, you name it. Um, but what is very special, apart from the fact that we've just wrapped our last season, which was Kids on Bikes, GM'd by yours truly. So we're about to start an all new one so you can hop in and join the hype as it happens. But... Another way you could help our podcast is to head to australianpodcastawards.com. We have been nominated for Best Fiction, but there is still a chance for us to also get in and win the Listener's Choice. So if you go to the Listener's Choice section, roll to cast R-O-L-E, and help us beat some, some very famous radio hosts in our town in Australia, we would really appreciate that. Uh, and I am playing Ali Katz. The rocker of your dreams. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody make sure you go vote. Um, I'm sure Dan will drop that link in there uh, sometime soon. That everybody link. make sure you uh, bookmark that. Brandon. <laughs> I am Brandon Perkins, also known as DM underscore Brando. And I'm writing a book, and I remember the title this time. Hey. It's called Sola, Harvest of Souls. That's spelled S-O-L-A. And you can find it, the first two chapters, on Wattpad. That's W-A-T-T-P-A-D. Uh, look for Brandon Perkins or Sola Harvest of Souls, and hopefully you'll be able to find it because it's a little bit hard to search up on uh, on Wattpad. Uh, but the link will be posted at some point in time. Uh, if Oh, there it is. It's right in the chat, right there. Thanks so much, Dan. You're awesome. Uh, it really is. He super duper is. Uh, and I'm really excited to be uh, working on this book. It is uh, based on the cyberpunk genre, um, but a bit of a different take on it. Uh, hopefully not too different so that people don't like it, but different enough that they do like it. Um, and I'm playing Rush, the fixer of your occasional thought. <laughs> Perfect. Should be your every thought, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when when you're thinking about buying stuff, then you think about rush. There you go. <laughs> True. <laughs> every day I do. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So the feelings mutual. And Phil. Every day I think about myself. Hello. <laughs> Don't forget Phil. I think about Don't myself because I'm me. Hello, I'm Phil. I'm also part of Baby Beard Media. We're Australians who make stuff, which is great. Uh, so, yeah, Ellen Spruked, our wonderful podcast. Next season is actually being uh, announced tonight uh, when our uh, wrap-up episode comes out for the season. Uh, we also do interviews with the creators of the TTRPGs we play. So next week we're actually uh, interviewing the creators of Kids on Bikes, which is really, really fun. That was me and Ellen did that interview. Uh, but uh, what I would like to talk to you about is that we have a Patreon. So if you wanted to help us do this stuff, it's really, really helpful. And you get the episodes like a day early. So everyone who is a patron already knows what next season will be as GM'd by me. So that's uh, Baby Beard. Sorry, that's patreon.com forward slash Baby Beard. So yeah, that really helps us <laughs> keep the, the production values high, all that cool editing, original music all the good stuff that goes into it. Uh, we also have uh, all the socials, so find us there, uh, Baby Beard Media on Twitter uh, or on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, I'll check out our YouTube channel as well where we play loads of RPGs. Uh, Ellen's desperately trying to get to the end of uh, of Dragon Age Origins. Uh, I just kissed game... Morrigan. Wait, wait, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, tune in, tune in, for, tune in for the top tier content. So, uh, <laughs> in... in, in... <laughs> In this game, I play Bud. Solo, you vaguely remember. <laughs> That's just it. how he likes it, though. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It oh, exactly. Yeah, that fits comes it. out of the shadow. Six his character perfectly. And yep, I'm <laughs> uh, Game Master Rob Mulligan. I'm the one running this game every week. I'm also the founder of Cyber Nation Uncensored. Yes, we made the official change. Uh, from Cyberpunk Uncensored to Cyber Nation Uncensored, so we could kind of expand things that we're doing and encompass all gameplay and uh, all the GMs and content that we're pushing out. Uh, look us up on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, we live stream all the time. We have lots of Cyberpunk Red, Fallout, upcoming Dune, um, almost every day of the week. There's a live stream, uh, and the YouTube has all kinds of VOD content. And we also have a podcast and a Patreon uh, so, yeah, look up uh, Cyber Nation Uncensored and show uh, me and the rest of the team some love. Aside from that, the reason we're here is because of Sirenscape. Uh, so make sure you show Sirenscape some love by following, subscribing right here on Twitch, also on YouTube. Uh, check out the awesome tool uh, that they provide for gameplay. It adds sounds and effects to your, uh, you know, your game, whether around the table in person or across the internet digitally like we do uh, every week right here. And uh, it's worth checking out. Also, give a share to their channel and content. They put out lots of uh, gameplay and interesting um, interactive content where they create sound sets on the fly and all kinds of stuff. So uh, not just here on Twitch, but again, check them out on YouTube. But show them some love and support because it is the reason we're here. Uh, that being said, let's get to, to the team, back to this campaign which is called uh, Don't Call It a Comeback. 
The team basically just uh, finished their second campaign called Nip It in the Bud. I recommend everybody in chat go and everybody listening, check out the first uh, two campaigns, the Don't Have a Cow and then the Nip It in the Bud uh, to get all the details of all the things that the team has been through thus far because it's ongoing. You know, there's rewards, repercussions, NPCs, things that, you know, they don't go away. This is an ongoing world. Uh, they're evolving. Things are happening. Um, so it's important to keep up with the story. However, this is the first session of the new campaign, so it's a perfect opportunity to jump in uh, with the team. They just left the uh, High Water Citadel, a drifted nation that ended up sinking, uh, but they took out Umbra, helped uh, these pirates uh, that was led up by Bud's ex-girl, thought she was dead. She thought he was dead, but they helped them uh, save some slaves um, and took it out. They're kind of releasing the districts to possibly come together, form their own sort of council for trade out there. But through that, uh, they kind of got in trouble with, with uh, the districts. Some past uh, scream sheets came out that had to do with their first campaign, Don't Have a Cow, that came out with them not disposing of the cow and being discreet, but rather selling it to the news and uh, exposing Biotechnica and Continental Brands and everything that happened against the wishes of council. So all funding got pulled, Nash got fired, uh, the team was kind of on their own, but luckily Rush had a hookup with some uh, independent militia team guys or something like that because they bought out all of his uh, sniper rifles and high-end assault rifles from his night market about a week ago. And they hit him up and were like, hey, the boss is in town, he wants to meet, uh, we got you know, possible gigs for you, so uh, where are you at? We'll pick you up. <laughs> and they were in the middle of treading water, got scooped up, and now they're on the way uh, across the land, heading east. Uh, let me bring up a little bit of Sirenscape sounds. Shout out to Sirenscape. Is it, what was that? Exposing the corpse is also known as doing the right thing. Exactly. Just in case you thought we were, we're in the yeah. wrong <laughs> No, exactly. And, you know, that's the thing is all, all of these decisions you've made have been moral dilemmas. They haven't been easy decisions. They, uh, some have contradicted some of the paid gigs and al uh, alignments that you have with boss or council or even within yourself. And yeah, like, we, you know, there's... We didn't get paid for, for the high water job. I right. know. But you, you got paid some big cash for selling that cow and exposing the story, which lost that job. So, you know, everything kind of... Works out, Twings I guess. And roundabouts, maybe. A little bit. I don't know, but uh, but yeah, here you are cr uh, traveling across the desert. Um, you're, you can tell you're heading into Texas. You've been traveling over an hour or so um, from Night City, where you stopped off in the cafe to grab a bite to eat. Uh, everyone should check out that little one uh, session runoff that we did last week. It was a lot of fun. Um, but you're traveling. Uh, Diesel's dry, you know flying, just focused on getting there. It looks like Blake is passed out, catching some sleep in the back. It's obviously very late. All of you are tired as well, um, but you are gathered up. You're here. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Uh, it happens sometimes with OBS or the inter internet here, or Twitch. But um, yeah, you're traveling. It looks like Blake is asleep. Diesel, Diesel's just getting you there in the AV. You're kind of crossing over into Texas. You can hear the desert winds kind of cooking, and uh, it's late. Everyone's tired, but but you're together. You can discuss things if you'd like. Hey, Rush, uh, what do you know about these guys? Very, very little. Mm. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, yeah, well, I know that they purchased all of my stock, and uh, in my book, that makes them great people. Yeah, your stock was all high-end sniper rifles, though, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Only okay. the best. High-end sniper rifles. I mean, the main question is, if these whoever we're dealing with has a whole bunch of guns and you know maybe a little militia what do they need us for mm. something not, a bit aren't, more delicate aren't, aren't we over the south again don't don't we have beef with someone down here yeah Leviticus? Shh, don't say his name he'll appear <laughs> only if you say it three times everybody knows oh, that okay <laughs> Well, don't and you say have to look Leviticus at... three times. No, you have to say Leviticus three times. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have to you have to How look into a mirror now? in the dark. <laughs> you have to look into a mirror and have the lights out and turn around three times. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to have a, a glass of drugged whiskey and then you'll see Leviticus. It's <laughs> okay. true. 
Or a bathtub Maybe. with ice cubes. He, he likes that for some weird uh, reason. Cactus needle I mean, tea. <laughs> That's, oh yeah. Here's the thought. Has anyone, has anyone asked these guys? Uh, I think no. they're sleeping. Well, oh Jesus my God! Driving. I hope he's not. What is driving is sleeping? Yeah. No. Pretty sure these AVs have autopilot, but yeah. 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 Uh, well, I hope well, we're not no. walking in on where someone else has the high ground if you sold them all of the sniper rifles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if they wanted to kill us, they would have just left us in the seas. So. Yeah, That's they had every so. opportunity. I think we should at least hear them out. Well, yeah, we, we ask got a lot these of Hades is gonna go up and start just <laughs> go up to where uh, Blake is. Blake? Yeah, Blake's Blake. a slave. Yeah, he's. Ah, perfect. She's gonna go up to where <laughs> Blake is nice and sleeping and peaceful and probably maybe snoring a little. Maybe there's a little drool. She's gonna go up to him <laughs> very quietly, very sneakily, and then she's gonna shake. shake! <laughs> Yeah, give me your brawling. Um, and <laughs> everybody else, give me a perception as well while Hades is doing this. But give me a brawling. Uh, oh, I'm going to die. Well, I'm going to put everything uh, back in threat Please detection. no die. Please no die. Please no die. <laughs> uh, whoa, it's a critical failure. That would be a five. Hades is not 16. a brawler. No. Oh wait, she's more. Nope, that's that's me. That was me. That was you that rolled a sixteen. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> five, five on brawl, a nice round five, nice. which is basically the foundation of lots of math. <laughs> yeah, as you as you go to shake him, and you're like, wake up. Uh, he quickly opens his eyes and grapples you up, and all of a sudden you're kind of in this this sort of grappled hold. Um, you can't even you can't even move, and he just looks like he's in a panic. And then he kind of wakes up, and then he like lets go. The rest of you, um, first off, there's Bud or Rush or Alley. Any of you have like uh, night vision or thermal? I've got night vision on my eyes. I have specialized, but they're for targeting scope for okay. my smartlink gun. Yeah, I've got mm. the um, low light infrared UV. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alley. No, I've got none of that. Okay, well, as you uh, as you kind of uh, look around as Hades is waking up Blake abruptly and getting grappled up into a hole, <laughs> uh, you see that uh, the AV is, is descending uh, somewhere over Texas, you can assume, based on the travel. Um, but they're coming down on what looks like, I mean, it's nighttime, it's hard to see, um, but it looks like some type of abandoned town or city. Uh, it looks like it was once part of some type of combat or something, because it's a bunch of burned out buildings and empty buildings and such. But you do see some structures, like a row of uh, above ground bunkers that look like they were either airlifted in or caravaned in. You can see like some Humvee vehicles, some AVs, um, some big makeshift like warehouse hangar um, next to this this row of above ground bunkers um, in rush with your night vision you're seeing not just everything I just described um, but you're also seeing lots of people like even though it's in the middle of the night um, you can see like on the rooftops um, there's random like people posted up looks like they're holding some type of sniper rifle or rifle looks fairly familiar to you actually those rifles but uh, but there's looks like they have guards posted up around the city on all perimeters on top of the hangar and there's people kind of walking around perimeters marching like it, it's definitely heavily secured okay with my teleoptics can i see uh anything additional like do, do i see any uh faction names or anything on the uniforms or uh as badges or symbols no, no nothing from here you're descending now um so okay. yeah it's kind of hard to see up here. Well, it looks like oh, wait. oh yeah, it looks like there's quite a quite a few people down there, uh, armed to the teeth. Yeah, and jumpy too. Hades is coming back over. 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a bruise from all of this. Well, at least you know he's a hugger. Uh. Oh, he just moves. God, so. why, why, why would you wake me like that? I, I apologize, but wow, just yeah, don't don't <laughs> don't do that. Wow, she's just no. a little impulsive. No. Yeah, I thought you liked to be waked up. You know, we're about to land. That's all. Yeah, yeah, man. I was okay. worried that you wouldn't be awake in time for yeah, it. A, a, a nice, g- gentle nudge next time, maybe. Or, uh, hey, Blake, uh, <laughs> want to wake up? Uh, shaking me yeah. crazy like that. <laughs> that was. Well, you know, Ooh, just... in my defense, you could have been dead. <laughs> well, now that you're up, we were just wondering if you could give us the skinny on what exactly this talk will be about. Who exactly do you work for? Uh, well, I work for Mr. X. I'm not really entitled to get into that, just bringing you here, but it looks like we're landing now. You'll be able to talk to him yourself. Sure. Right. Can you t- even tell us what the heck you guys are? This looks like a pretty serious outfit here. You paramilitary, scavengers, uh, reclaimers. Little- a little something like military, I guess you could say. But again, let's just talk to the big man. Uh, yeah, Skinny, will t- he'll, he'll tell you what's up. Uh, okay. So this Mr. X, is he taller or shorter than you? <laughs> uh, is he wearing glasses? Mu- much taller. You've met him before? Yes. Yes, we have. We want to make sure that you've met him before. Uh, give me a persuasion. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I was hoping to have But she is very persuasive with her 18. Um, Let her finish. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't... I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. That Something sounds a little off with that. Uh, what? Yeah, I've, I've definitely met him. Uh, but th- yeah, we're landing. And you can see the AV is kind of pulling down next to the big sort of hangar. Um, next to the row of above-ground bunkers um, and AVs and Humvees. But it pulls down in front of this hangar, and you can see that in there it looks like there's some other Humvees lined up, some uh, little buggies. Uh, There's another AV in there, and it looks like some people are working on some of the the equipment, some of the vehicles. Um, Off to the side, almost in the center of this huge hangar, but a little off to the side, is a desk. Uh, so some computers, things like that. Um, and you can see a tall, slender man um, just pacing on his phone. Um, so here, let me bring up uh, some of this on Roll20. Shout out to Crosswire once again, hooking us up with some uh, quick, crazy artwork. That is awesome. Uh, I'm also going to change up a I'm, little bit here on uh, Siren. Oh, how me I am I. So well done. Like how I imagine. Awesome. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. This might not. He does have glasses. Yeah, However, I thought it we is, does have glasses. Too, but, but <laughs> that's yeah, how you know he's smart. That's right. I mean, let's just be polite to whoever we talk to, okay? Maybe. I'm always polite. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't even know where to begin with that. He's, <laughs> he's, he's polite by saying hello with his fists. <laughs> yeah, your version of polite is using a silencer, so forgive me if I'm not. Uh, but know, it doesn't. It doesn't wake anyone else up. Races. Coming from the Queen of Snark over here, what the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> when you're pretty, uh, you can get away with more. <laughs> uh. Hey, uh, Blake but, Diesel, that him? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're here. Just uh, go ahead. You can meet with them now, and they step out, kind of open the doors for you all to get out. Um, as you step into the hangar, um, you see uh, Mr. X, uh, or as uh, uh, Blake referred to him for a moment there, Slim. But, uh, but regardless, he, uh, he stands there, he kind of paces and does, uh, uh, you know, smoking a, a cigarette, pacing back and forth. He's on an agent. Um, he looks like he's close to like, I don't know, 6'6", six, six, close to 7 foot, um, super tall, super skinny. Um, but he's on his agent. When he sees you approaching, he just raises his hand. He's like, oh, wait, uh, uh, welcome to, uh, 
Lubbock, Texas, uh, crap hole, whatever, welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll be with y'all in just a minute. He gets back on his phone and starts pacing, talking on his agent. Uh, what does everybody want to do? Y'all got coffee around here? Anyone? I... Is there any way, no? what would it be, um... <laughs> okay. Perception to see if we can hear what he's saying on the agent? Yeah, I'd like to try and listen in. Yeah, give a, a perception. 16, question mark? Uh... Where is my perception? Oh, nice. All right, I'll listen while I don't Rush. Get <laughs> Rush with the 19. Oh! oh. oh. 21. Is Sorry, right. so but... like six points in threat. <laughs> Six points in threat detection. It's all, all, all perception checks at plus six. So oh, awesome. I'm sorry. I do like... I do I hear a threat right now? What's that? Yeah, I That's... feel like everything. Yeah, I may a look. Ca here. He may look casual, but he's literally always like. <laughs> right, on a swivel. I feel like, on a swivel. Yeah, I feel like Bud was like, hey, "Is there any coffee in here?" But really, his direction is at the agent in the phone call. Yeah. You know, like he's completely zoned oh, in. He turned his ear so he oh, could yes. better hear it. It's tactful. So smart. Um, okay. But all okay. of you did great with that perception, um, as well as Mr. X doesn't seem to be hiding too much of the conversation. In fact, it seems like he's wrapping up the conversation right now, but he's on oh. the phone and you hear him say, uh, yeah, we'll be making our move within the next 48 hours. If all goes well. Yes, sir. Definitely. Oh. Definitely. And then he hangs up. But what Bud hears is also what's on the other end uh, with that role. He's hearing the in-betweens, which is in between this sort of, you know, we'll make our move within the next 48 hours. You hear another voice on the other end basically say, uh, good, well, let's be quick with it. Let's strike fast and hard. And then he says, uh, you hear Mr. X say, well, if all goes well. And then you hear him say, oh, is that other team there? Are they going to help you? And he says, yes, sir. Okay, great. Keep me posted. They hang up. 80s, hearing this will turn to the rest of the team. Oh, they're just moving. I've moved before, before I live in my current place. Uh, you know, I used to live in a different space, and that's not too hard. They probably just need someone to help them move boxes. And... You think that they flew us all the way here to move a couch? I mean... They probably want us to move somebody's life from their body. Well, that's still, you know, moving in a way. Yeah. You could I mean, probably we're good at it, so possessions from their pockets. Yeah, I've been you said you weren't gonna lot. do that now that we're off vacation. <laughs> vacation, I don't starting a coup. That. I don't remember saying that at all. I don't remember that conversation. Katie, am I able to like no roll persuasion? <laughs> <laughs> you can do a contested roll and try to persuade PVP. her to not, yeah, you know, yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, you know, snap. Like, if it's kind of, is it you know? So that's bring persuasion. It. I'm bringing it. Yeah, it would be contested. I'm bringing it, babes. Oh snap! Yeah, All contested right. roll. Let's let's do it. Uh, <laughs> the kids are big. Persuasion 17. versus persuasion. Let's go. I rolled very poorly. You rolled my... uh, seventeen in persuasion. All right, here I go. <laughs> pretty good are you base in you points? have there. Maybe. My, what a good base <laughs> you have. <laughs> I love Hades, don't She's changing do all her skills right now. She's like shifting things. She's like, I, all that IP I didn't use yet. No. Hey, wait, what's the modifier? Uh, I put three luck into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for luck, you would have failed. But yeah, Ali, uh, you can tell you can tell you're basically not influencing Hades. Like she's gonna do what she wants. It seems. Yeah, she also didn't I mean, say that anybody she was else can stop. try too, but hey, hey no, she, I, I, Ellie's talking to Hades, and Hades like, okay, okay, uh -huh. I'm, I know <laughs> your I'm listening face. Just ugh, if you're gonna steal something, just don't go too big, okay? Yeah, no, I definitely fed the stop plants before her... we left. Right, I got it. Stop giving her ideas, Allie. Just. just... <laughs> She the gets ideas anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll definitely send Rush a thank you card. Her head I'll is like a that. snow globe. It's full of, like, ideas on how to start chaos. <laughs> That's why each, we have her. Like, each flake the, the, the is a new idea. A new chaotic <laughs> idea. Oh, my God. It looks like well, he's wrapping up. Yeah. yeah, so the second that 
this guy looks like he's open for me to walk in, shake his hand, and say hello, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the second he hangs up, you know, you have a little banter uh, with while well, Hades and Allie and Bud, you walk up, uh, shake his hand, he just turns to you and says, oh, n- nice to meet you. I, I take it you're Rush uh, and, and your team? Yeah, that's right. This is Allie Katz. Yeah. This nice here is Bud. You. And this is Hades. Uh, nice to meet Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Tallman. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, Mr. X, but, uh, you know, my friends call me Slim or Stretch or uh, anything along those lines. I'm good with that. Hey, as long as things work out, right? Yeah. So would you rather we wait before we start calling you Slim or Stretch, or can we start calling you that now? Uh, Go for it. I'm I'm, I'm feeling positive with this relationship. And and let me tell you, I didn't get to personally thank you uh, for your night market hookup there. Uh, You you literally had everything we needed in one... uh, one sale that kind of uh, turned the tide for our our plans and some things. So, uh, again, I really appreciate it. I think we've already started off on the right foot, so go for it. Uh, uh, Did you get to enjoy the show? uh, No, no. What what shows this? Oh, well, uh, I was uh, happy enough to utilize my services for Russia's night market, and there was a bit of a burlesque extravaganza we thought oh. it added a little personal touch oh that sounds really interesting yeah no i still you know a couple of my boys attended to take care of business while we were on the move but um uh, now i feel bad that I, I i missed something like that could really use some no no <laughs> there's always more shows and you're right people could use entertainment yeah most definitely um but yeah what is uh let me just uh, start with this uh you all have heard of the Pacifica Confederation? I mean, everybody have can give we, you... Uh, yeah, pro- don't even need to roll a 1d10, actually, on this rep. It, it's it's so high. It's something... One of those things, like, you would, you would know at least that the uh, Pacifica Confederation is kind of a group of states, um, whereas, like, uh, President Kress is running kind of the Boswash Corridor going down the East Coast... Uh, then you have like independent states like Texas and obviously Night City as its own kind of independent city. You have uh, the Pacifica Confederation, which consists of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, North, Northern California and British Columbia, all unified. Um, but but you have heard of that, at least, you know, they're, they're you know, big governing party or uh, militia group, uh, political party in its own. Uh, but you have heard of Pacifica Confederation, like he asked. So you've heard of that, us? Yeah, the big, yes, of course, big player yeah. out west, sure. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, the the short of it is, you know, we're trying to restore some stability to the United States. And um, we're <laughs> ju- just kind of in a process here. Uh, ah, go ahead. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's been a big project, <laughs> to say the least. Um, oh, I was just laughing at the restore part. <laughs> I don't think anyone remembers the last time the U.S. was stable. Yeah. Well, that's the problem, and uh, yeah, that's, yeah what, that's, sure. what, that's what we're working on. Um, and there's, well, anyways, before we get into it, you know, let's let's not dive into pillow talk before we've even had dinner, so to speak. Uh, let's uh, let's discuss kind of uh, the the initial reason I called you out here. Um, I kind of need a, a, you know, a, well, the the caliber of of fixer as yourself here, Rush. Uh, like I said, that whole night market hookup. Uh, just kind of rubbed us the right way, let's say. And um, I, I need your expertise here. There's uh, apparently a, a night market that's going to be happening tomorrow night uh, in Night City. Um, I'm not sure where or who the hosts are or any, any of the details. We know it's in Night City tomorrow night. I know it's in South Night City. Uh, we've been able to confirm rumors. Uh, but that's all I know. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, I'd like you to, you know, get back to Night City. I'll, I'll get you back immediately, uh, you know, rest up for the, well, the rest of the <laughs> early morning, late night, I guess you could say, take the day, uh, rest up, figure out where the, the night market is before the night, get there, uh, get into the night market, work your way into the midnight market part of the night market, and then uh, buy a drive that's called the Corridor Keys. Uh, don't let it go to bidding. Just buy it outright. He hands you a, a case. Um, he kind of reaches out to a case towards your rush. Um, and you can see it's, right. a, it's a small metal case, uh, not like a full-size briefcase, just a small metal case 
Um, and it has, uh, you can see a handcuff uh, hanging off of it. Um, and it has like kind of a digital thumbprint uh, sort of sensor on it. Uh, but he hands you that. I mean, he says, but yeah, work your way uh, into the midnight market part of the, the night market. Buy the keys to the corridor. I need it. Uh, get that drive. Like I said, don't let it go to bidding. I'm sure people are going to be bidding on it. Buy it outright. Spend it all. Just buy it. Get it back to me. Once you get it back to me, I'll hook you up with 2K just for that simple pickup and delivery. And then we'll sit down and discuss the, uh, the real reason I requested your presence out here. Hoping this will kind all of, right. uh, you know, get us started on our relationship a little, a little further. He has a question. Yeah, Hades would like to ask you something. Uh, yeah, what's up? Yeah. So these would appear to be by this very, very important looking box. Um, very expensive keys. What do they unlock? <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's a case uh, with a, a, like a handcuff. You know, to lock it to yourself? No, no. She's asking, what are the keys to the car are? What are they? What are we buying? What do those keys unlock? Not uh, this! Well, it's maybe not necessarily uh, uh, unlocking anything. But it's a, it's a drive. It's a, it's a small thumb drive. But it, again, uh, not 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 uh, ready for a We're gonna look talk like yet. Let's, uh, let's just have you... We're going to look like idiots if we show up and we don't know what we're buying. It might help us use some small talk, you know, really convince them that we need this that we need these keys. Yeah, I'm sure when you uh, make the payment, it'll be enough. But it's basically a thumb drive with some information on it. Um, okay. And it's some Do you information know who else that will be isn't exactly for? easily passed around, so uh, it might not be talked about too much. Um, but, okay. Well, but no, like that's I said, better. With the that expertise gives us of. Uh, a fixer like Rush, I'm sure you can work your way in and make something happen. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll get it done. Now, just to confirm the name of this device, it's called the, sorry, the Corridor Keys, or? Yeah, it's a drive that goes by the Corridor Keys. Corridor Keys. All right. Do you know who's selling it? Have no idea. The, the most information we've been able to track down is at a night market tomorrow night, somewhere in South Night City. Um, but... You know, with everything that we work on, and I'm sure you can imagine, and you do know Pacifica Confederation there, while they're trying to establish the country and do this, they, they maybe don't have as much um, pull or establishment in places like Night City as much. They're usually busy with what they're kind of putting together and doing. Um, but I just, I lack, lack the connections uh, in Night City to kind of make this happen. Cool. How much scratch are you giving us to work with? Uh everything in that case uh, you're looking at 100k right there and like i said don't let it go to bidding pay it outright all right and you said to use all of it you don't want me to try and haggle it or anything no this is this is serious we'll talk more if you can pull this off for me rush but you know yeah this is serious i'm not trying to put anything to, to gamble to risk i'm not trying to turn anybody off i'm not trying to allow this to go to bidding this is crucial. This is a this is a big, a big piece to the to the bigger puzzle here of what we're working on, and it's important. So just buy it Certainly. out. Certainly. Now this thumbprint lock, this isn't going to help anybody if nobody can open it. Will my thumb work? Well, yeah, that's what we're setting up right here. And he kind of all right perfect. leans over on the perfect. case, and you see him uh, put the cuff around your wrist. He puts your presses your thumb against the case, and on the side of the case where you hold it, there's a little thumb pressure thing and you hear it unlock it unlocks the uh the bracelet both the cuffs and the case itself um uh, doesn't open it but you hear it unlock um and then he presses your thumb against it again and you lock again and the cuff locks around your wrist perfect they're not synced up to your print so uh you're in control rush uh don't let me down all right now uh, we will do our absolute best you will not be disappointed all right, awesome. Well, hey, uh, hey, I'll arrange the ride, get you back to Night City. At least you can get back home. Uh, from what my boys told me, you were out there treading water somewhere out there, whatever you were dealing with. So, uh, you let's, were. yeah, let's get you home. Now, let's get yeah. some rest. just, just, just a moment. The, the pay for the job. 
Uh, and and I would like to haggle because I am uh, uh, operator. We're good at it. Six. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so I believe that's I, I can haggle for an extra twenty percent. I believe I can confirm that in a minute. Get that but coin. A haggle roll bread. is a twenty-five. Oh my goodness! Ooh. Get that bread. <laughs> Get us I love that bread. bread. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So I can negotiate the paper the person for a job up twenty percent. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. You know, I have no problem uh, throwing in another four hundred eddies on top of this if you can pull this off. You know, it, like I said, it it means more to me that we start this relationship right uh, because we have some plans, and I think uh, this will just be the beginning. You know, so let's uh, let's make it happen. Uh, you have my word. Uh, am I? I would like to do a human perception on Slim, just yeah, just okay. like while he's talking to Rush, just kind of like suss out the vibes, if you will. Yeah, go for that's it. what you're here for. <laughs> that's what I'm here you're the, for. You're the social specialist. <laughs> we need someone like you. Oh! Whoa. Oh! Oh my! Oh yeah! Dear. Oh, wow. Twenty three with a little, yeah, well, little crispy boy. Yeah, while he's mm. talking to Rush, um, you're reading his expressions, his mannerisms, just everything about him. And, and one thing you can tell, uh, being an expert at this sort of thing, is that he's he's sharp. He's in, in extreme control over his emotions, his thoughts. He's, you can tell he's an intellectual. Um, however, um, you are able to break through and read, read him on this. Uh, he's very focused on Rush right now. Um, and you're able to tell, like... Uh, He's he's very concerned that that this goes down the way that that he's planning, um, that everything he has been saying so far seems truthful, and whatever he's having you get is very important to him, um, and he just he, he seems eager, you know, to to make this relationship work. Okay. Which is very strange too, because uh, you know, in the past uh, few you know couple months of of missions and gigs and going around and messing with NPCs and, and people. Um, it, it, it's been rare to find, you know, someone that, that is at face value, somewhat honest. I think the other person that kind of rubbed you this way was Amira mm. a little bit. Someone you know? who says what they mean. Yeah, he seems pretty forward, yeah. And I, uh, like, assess the operation during this conversation as well just to see sort of how militarized it is like how how happy everyone seems here what kind of resources they seem to have obviously we've seen humvees we've seen rifles they've got an operation center but like i'm talking you know any other kind of operational details how many people they have are there civilians here or is it all soldiers how disciplined do they seem to be? All that kind of stuff. Yeah, give me another perception now that you've landed and you're scoping it out on your way back. And we'll say uh, during this, you know, you're checking him out. He had that final conversation with Rush. He's walking you back to the AV um, where Diesel's just kind of uh, fueling up or doing something with it to get ready. And, uh, you know, he's saying goodbyes to head back to Night City. Uh, and he tells you, yeah, and once, once you get, you know, figure out where the night market is, you get the, uh, the keys of the corridor uh, just... You know, Both of you hit, hit this hit this uh, number for Diesel. He'll scoop you up, um, and it's the number that uh, they hit you up before rush. So he just kind of confirms that. So they'll be your ride for the time being. Um, and wow, yeah, uh, Bud, you're practically seeing through He's walls. Oh my god, <laughs> twenty six. He's seeing through wow. bunker walls to people changing and doing things, and like it's crazy. <laughs> He's seeing um, everyone's it, happiness levels. Right. Like. <laughs> it's like a Sims game where he's seeing stats yeah. or like a video game where he's seeing details. Um, but yeah, that's a great role. You're, you that, still... we that weapon needs maintenance. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, practically, you're seeing the details of this. Uh, in this, this huge hangar, it seems like, yeah, it's a lot of people working on vehicles. We there's like a weapons bench over here and people are just working through the night, but it looks like people are happy. Nobody looks grouchy or anything like that. Even at a moment, you see some guys that are listening to the music, working on Humvee, start dancing and joking with each other a little bit. Um, you know, it's wow, not even, we don't look grumpy, <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like a serious uh, military operation. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's above that sort of corporate assassination team level. It's, it's, it's definitely like, uh, has that governmental funded feel. 
Um, it makes sense mm -hmm. that it's Pacifica Confeder uh, Confederation. Um, it's of that caliber. Um, but one thing that you notice is uh, on all these Humvees, on everything in here, you don't see the Pacifica Confederation uh, logo or any emblems on, on any of this stuff. Um, that is one They have thing. no emblems at all? Right. You're not seeing any logos, any emblems, mm. anything on any of their stuff. They don't want people to know they're this far east. And that's as you get into the AV and start right. heading back to Night City, and you all are traveling back, and you can talk to each other about what Bud just saw, Allie reading uh, Mr. X's expression, all that stuff. This is your moment to kind of chat a bit. Uh, Blake is not heading back with you at this moment. Um, it's just Diesel kind of giving you the ride. Yeah, apparently oh, Blake's too scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you um, gave him quite a fright, Hades. Coward! <laughs> I, I don't think they want anyone to know they're out here. I think they're a bit on edge. If they're from Pacifica, they're a long way from home. And they're yeah. funded by some big money. They got... They got hardware out the wazoo. Uh, they're well trained, it looks like. The big money like... in that box. Hades is going to be like kind of messing around with the box that's. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. What? Leave the box alone. We're not trying to piss anybody off here. I'm not doing anything to it. It's not going to snap your wrist off. But somebody else might try to if this isn't secure. I mean, it's yeah. attached to his wrist, Hades. You might snap it off. <laughs> yeah, well. Somebody else might snap his wrist off. If it's not me first. It's legitimate. It, you know, I, I may have done that once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I can tell you is that Slim's definitely got skin in the game here. He absolutely cares about this going down the way he wants. So I think we should follow this one to the letter. Yes, I 100% agree. Yeah, Still wish paying money for this thing. Oof. What was that, bud? I still wish we knew more, like, who's selling it, uh, why it's worth so much. Like, Where the night market even is. And who's buying yeah. it? I don't think Slim's yeah, that... buying it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well once he says we... he's code of bidding, so there must be some interested parties, right? Yeah, all we gotta do is find out where this night market is in Southern Night City. Now, I think if I give Kid a call, he'd know, because he knows pretty much everything. Go for it. I mean, this is your wheelhouse, baby. All right. So with that, I'll give a call to Kid. Uh, yeah, you felt get... weird calling Rush, baby, but <laughs> I went with it. <laughs> I, I, th I think it was good. <laughs> also, he's gonna be like, I don't think I would mention your little uh, bracelet, though. <laughs> yeah. I just need to find out where the night market is. Yeah, you, you, uh. <laughs> Yeah, you call a uh, kid's number and you get his voicemail and it just says, uh, Hey, you reached kid, baby. What's up? Leave a message. Uh, still prepping. Still prepping. You know where I'll be at. What's up? Hit me up this weekend. Boop. Hey, kid, it's Rush. I heard that there may be uh, some great night market going on in Southern Night City. I wanted to know where is this happening? I Absolutely, you know where it's happening. Is it yours? Because... I just want to be there. Anyway, hit me up. Bye. It's so cute. You say bye in a voicemail. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it always bothers me when people don't say bye. Or just hang, you know, <laughs> hang up on you too. Exactly. Hang in the middle of a right phone call exactly. or something. Is it, I always feel awkward talking to a machine. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> best, I mean, we talk to machines most, yeah, most every day. Yeah. I was going to say best mannered fixer in Night City. That's his rep, man. That's true. Yeah. You trade on Family man. manners. And, and let's be honest. Best mannered, just the best fixer in Night City. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just well. getting, I'm getting Sirenscape back up and going for the travel sounds. But um, just to kind of streamline a little, because I know we had some of the technical difficulties and we lost just a, a chunk there. Uh, everybody in chat. Uh, the team basically flew back to Night City, we'll say. Um, they got back to uh, the city, and they're able to kind of call it a night um, and get some rest. I know that, uh, you know, you had some HP loss, uh, Bud, maybe anybody else that had some injuries during the crazy uh, Drift Nation Umbra encounter and everything you went through there. 
Um, so this is your moment to kind of get some sleep, even though it's super late but you can sleep in during the day and everything because you're not even trying to get to the night market till the middle of the night the next night. So um, we'll say everybody is able to heal. You get back to Night City. Um, is everybody going home to sleep and, and heal, I imagine? Yeah, I mean, I still log on to my Elflines account. Just, you know, check my guild <laughs> we'll hasn't kicked me out. Yeah, I'm going to do some gaming, just enough to try <laughs> and uh, beat, but level up on Bud. <laughs> <laughs> have you got have you got fans to contact? Like you've been out of town for a few days. I bet they're hankering. Yeah, she yeah, works but they love the it. They love it when I game and stream with them. Oh they yeah, of course. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, I've got like a nice little hot tub set up. Hayes is gonna have to. Hayes is gonna have to stop by where Pox is to get her pets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can say during the night, uh, you know, maybe before you go and settle in, you're able to, um, you know, hit up Pox, meet up. He's with uh, the Six Street guys, and um, you're able to at least get your, your pets back from him and kind of settle in. I'm sorry, I'm just making sure all the new windows are open since we crashed uh, our connection. But all right, yeah, we're back. We should, should officially not be frozen or muted. But uh, yeah, you're able to do that, Hades. You get your pets. You meet up with Pox. Everybody's hey. back at their places. Hey. Um, and everybody mm -hmm. can get some sleep. And uh, yes, we'll uh, we'll take our, our quick five minute bio break right now. Hopefully, allow everyone to uh, uh, settle back into the the stream. Uh, yeah. You don't want us sleeping in real time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll take our five minute bio break while the team rests up, restores their HP. Um, and gathers back up uh, for in the afternoon, we'll say, in the late afternoon. Um, where where would everybody gather up after they rest for the day? Where would everybody the meet up? Cafe? Yeah, the cafe. Probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if not in, like, at the very least, out the front, just because it's uh, our usual haunt. Yeah. yeah. Agree. Agree. Okay. All right, cool. Well, yeah, let's take our uh, five-minute bio break. Everybody in chat, don't go anywhere. I know we've had a couple technical difficulties, but we're back. Please stick with us. We're just going to take a quick five-minute break, and we'll be right back and right back into it. Thanks so much. Bye. I'll leave the mics hot, too. Hot mic, oh. hot mic. Um, oh, my God. Phil, I did some art commission yes. uh, just of my own accord. I have not gotten my Witcher one yet, but I'm gonna drop this in the chat. All right, all right. Who? What? What was this commission? I will show you, audience. <laughs> well, they can't see it. No, no, no. I'm gonna. Oh, so this is for my other cyberpunk character. Ah. Oh. Rocket Volkov. Rocket Volkov. With tiny little pet rat Vlad on the shoulder. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> How cool is that? That's great. Yeah. It cost me a pretty penny, but I had tax money. So Okay, nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I got I got my tax back and like I used it to pay off all my debts. And then I put two more debts in. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta so have still... you gotta have yeah, I'm still operating at like a half, like a half debt, which is 50% less than what I had before. So we're good. There yeah. you go. Perfect. That's uh, a great, yeah. that's a great. How cute is she? She has, and she has the tiny little bangs that she cut herself. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. And the she gap looks in her like teeth. A, I know. She kind of looks like Elijah Wood. <laughs> yeah, she's very ch she's super chiseled, which is always how I imagined her, because she's like, yeah, she's like a seventeen-year-old beefcake. Yeah, yeah. There was like a specific Russian powerlifter that I based her on, which I think they call like the Barbie of Russia, um, just in terms of like, <laughs> like how how built she is. Um, yeah, but then yeah. her face is very like, very childlike. 
um, nah. and very like doe eye. I didn't I didn't imagine Sprocket to be like as like Barbie like because she's a bit goofy yeah, yeah. and she's a bit her own. But I just wanted that juxtaposition of a super super youthful face mm. and like the body of a power lifter. A little she's bit like... red. She's almost got a little bit of like a like a female Arnie <laughs> happening, maybe. The yeah, jawline. Yeah, she's not Hercules. Is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so if, if you guys are listening in, you want to know who who uh, Sprocket and Vlad are? Um, that's our season three of Roll to Cast. It's yes. our web campaign. We'll feed are the we beast. allowed to? Are we allowed to spruik the fact that you're Rob's working on a f- full book? <laughs> Well, Rob's not here, so uh, <laughs> no one can stop me. Uh, when yeah, the cat's so away. that's right. So, Feed the, the Beast is part of a. <laughs> it's a campaign I wrote for the show, but it also came with like an original setting because Red is pretty new. Uh, so I kind of made up a. I made up like a faction and a setting for the guys to to base out of. And in fact, uh, it does actually link to this channel because I ran a campaign on this channel called Out on a Limb which is an eight-part campaign you can see on the YouTube channel, the Sirenscape YouTube channel, uh, with all Sirenscape sounds and everything. And that's also based out of the faction base, Heaven. And I'm writing a book. I'm writing a source book for it. So it's going to have short stories. It's going to have information about the faction, how it runs, their home base, which is a skyscraper they took over uh, and turned into a cool commune, the AI that helps them run the whole place to maximize their happiness. Um... Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope it's, I'm going to include the campaigns in the book as well, the NPCs and the PCs Yay. that these guys made as well. So, so yeah, I'm still working on it right Sprocket. now. You can play Sprocket, or at least yes. have her in your red game. Uh, she would be a wonderful addition to any red game. Yeah, yeah. She'd All right, a I got a peanut. <laughs> oh, come, come on, go on. You've almost used up all our time. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's my spruiking. A bit more personal than adding it in at the, at the top. Also, that's don't know when I'm gonna finish it because I was supposed to be doing NaNoWriMo and I've written like three thousand words or something for the whole month. Yeah, it's hard. Not easy. It's true hard and my brain constantly wants me to switch hobby which is why i'm painting minis again how's how's your writing going there it's going well you were hemingway well. two thousand words a, you know a day or less uh well not quite daily at this point uh because i still have the day job but yeah. um but when i am able to sit down and dedicate time i can knock out maybe uh about a thousand words mm-hmm. you know which i feel like is good usually i can sit down and i can get a chapter down uh within like a session of sitting down and then you know editing it is a whole different story but yeah yeah that first draft though when you just like you're just trying to get flow yeah that's right you, you just you just have to get the ideas on paper first and edit it later yeah. Ah, we were learning Cause... about flow at work the other day, like specifically like how to get into the state of flow mm. um, using positive psychology. It was really dope. Oh, that's awesome. My work is, my work is awesome. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to get back? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now that we have bunny. <laughs> now that there's a bunny. Hey, we got a, bunny. we got a bunny with us. What's up? Bunny. Uh, we, also, we also got something pointless and random. Yay! Oh, oh what, so what have we got in the game, now, Phil? Right? Nice. Oh, did we have one earlier, too? Maybe I missed it because again. We, we did. We did. Oh, I completely it was, missed it. It was right before. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was during during our bathroom break. Bio oh. bay break. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, then I'll implement those. Sorry, we've been having those technical difficulties. been kind of throwing me off of chat a little bit. Um, trying to get these these things opened and running, um, but the team is back in Night City. Um, you're all waking up in your own places, uh, starting you know your morning rituals, getting back together. We can say uh, you all get together at the 24-hour cafe, like you said, and you get there. You sit down to get something to eat and kind of 
discuss plans and things. You sit down, um, and Donna's there. Uh, Donna walks up and, uh, hey, y'all's are back right away. That's great, bud. How, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Good. How you doing, Donna? Good. I had a much needed day off yesterday, but I uh, got some rest and now I'm back. But uh, what, what y'all going to eat? Donna, I'm, you know. I'm going to have some French toast stacks, and uh, Sir His here is going to have um, some French toast as well. Uh, I'll just grab a coffee. Thanks. Hades is, um, are they coming on the mission with us? Oh, I can't hear you. Hades, um, are you are you practicing your inside voice? Because it's you don't need to be that quiet. You still need to be able to be heard. It just <laughs> Oh god, she's becoming a mime. Oh no. Okay. First word. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> are they coming with us? Yes or no? Because Perfect. Wow. <laughs> It's an, honestly, it's an improvement, so. I mean, hey, I think honestly this could open up a whole world of opportunities for us. People <laughs> love spending time with cute little animals. Everybody loves I, animals, there we go. Is yeah. No one, is everyone neglecting the fact the snake is not real? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay. No, no, bud. Expostulate, please. It's a, yes. Expostulate. It's, it's, it's a robot snake. It's you're a robot it's, snake, bud. Yeah, well, your avatar you in wanna... Elflines Online is a bunch of code. But, um, well, she just wants two yeah. serves of French toast. Yeah. Three, three codes in a, in a trench coat, bud. <laughs> and while you guys are talking, anyway. just randomly and pointlessly, <laughs> some crazy looking guy comes in off the street wearing nothing but, like, a trench coat that's all stained with holes in it. He has a messy, wiry, ratty hair, and he just kind of kicks open the front door and goes, Don't eat the French toast! It's people! It's people! And they instantly, oh, like, kind of grab guy. him and push him out, and you see Donna, Oh, God, not this guy again. Oh, he's nuts! She kind of pushes him. I out. love Don't touch him. Uh, oh. You know, it isn't, a, it isn't a Friday morning without Tony coming in. <laughs> there was, like, a week where I didn't see him, and I kind of missed it. I don't know. It's all, Do you yeah, know he does uh, that in all the cafes? He goes to, he goes in the ramen place. He, Don't eat the ramen. Yeah, he's always Yeah, I w <laughs> I better get an extra serving of french toast then. I went to go get memory chips and this was like I swear a town away. Still, <laughs> I saw Tony. He I he, he gets miles. I swear to god. Yeah. Don't eat get some memory now. chips. <laughs> if he doesn't make his circuit, he doesn't get paid for his appearances. Well, I hear he's actually loaded. <laughs> I hear I mean, he goes back and he's got a whole condo. He lives with the, like in the right, corpse honestly. zone. I mean, do you know how expensive yeah. trench coats are these days? <laughs> They're really expensive. Mm -hmm. I bet it's full, uh, fully armajack lined as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we got any leads on this thing? Did I hear back from Kid? No, nothing back from him, uh, from the message you left him. Did you send him a message saying you up, winky face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. That, that doesn't work for me, unfortunately. What? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. It's not for everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, and it's kind of weird doing that when I'm already with Cyphers at the time. This is awkward. Feels mm. weird. So, uh, now I, I do know some other people that may know a thing or two about what's going on. I, I know a honcho with 6th Street, as you know, named Jones. And his people may have heard something. So I could reach out to him. Hey, I if, mean... there's, if there's a market going down, I'm sure you can find it. Yeah, give me a give me a streetwise, unless you have something else you want to suggest. But I think that would be good for you, Rush. Sure, I've got a couple points in that. Seventeen. Nice. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't take you long at all. A, you know, a couple phone calls out, um, and you, you get a hold of Jones for a moment, too. Um, and he tells you, yeah, there, apparently there's some uh, cyber night market thing or something going on at the Slammer tonight in uh, South Night City. Uh, so if you're looking for one in South Night City, that's probably it. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, have you seen uh, you seen Pax uh, today? Uh, no, we haven't Pax? seen him. Yeah, he was... Uh, yeah, he was supposed to uh, come in and um, uh, meet up this morning, but he, he never showed up. And I uh, just, I don't know, last night he said uh, he was bringing the pets to Hades or something and then going to be back in the morning or whatever, but he, has, he hasn't been back. So I just, I figured he was just still hanging out with, with all you guys and I just wanted to kind of fill him in on what we're doing later. So anyways, if you see him, uh, just have him hit me up. I will do. All right, cool. Later. All right. Thanks, Pat. Look at that. See? He, said he has goodbye. no sense of direction. Any single time, Hades is gonna get on her agent and start uh, sending a message to Pox. <laughs> She's no gonna one... be like, "Where are you at? You up?" <laughs> 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 See how quickly he replies. <laughs> yeah. Seen men no walk reply. through no, fire no for thirst treats. Did uh, I she, hear no. you? She, she's gonna, she's gonna do a fi find my friend. <laughs> it's not uh, sinking. There's no. Uh... Oh no! Yeah. Didn't you put a chip in Pox? I, I, <laughs> you didn't I chip know him? you joked about it. Hey, I, I tried to do a find my friend, and it won't find him. I think he unfriended me. Probably just hooked up with some chick he's sleeping in, guys. Don't, don't worry about it, man. Are you kidding me? Pox hooking up with some chick. Do are we talking about the same person? Bud. Bud. He yeah, get lucky. Look. I mean, well, let's be honest. He's got no game. Yeah. Oh, you guys are, you guys are harshing on this guy right now. But, I mean, we're being honest. Yeah, it's one yeah, of the you're things. Right. We uh, have yeah, you're right. I just like being. Bud. <laughs> the odds of him having randomly between my place and the three blocks back to where he had to get picking up a chick or. Falling down a pothole and dying. Which of those two do you think is more likely? Oh, he's well, dead. In the pothole. Pothole, <laughs> obviously. But you know, maybe there's there's yeah. probably a, there's probably a nice uh, there's it's probably a nice brothel between your your place and Sixth Street. Oh my God! Do you think he's did someone kidnap him? Do you think the bozos have him? If he was gonna try and get l lucky, he would have asked me. Why? Because I had to screen his calls there for a hot minute. Yeah. Uh, because I told him, no, my friends don't do discounts. But <laughs> I just, I feel like if he is sleeping in someone's condo, then yippee, we'll throw the kid a party when we get back. But this is really out of character. He's like a puppy. You call him and he's he's there. He's there before you call him. He's there when you think about him. He's always there. I mean, I pretty much assume Night City would eat him alive within a week, so I'm I'm just impressed he's got this far. <laughs> he's doing uh, all right. Uh, Did I hear you say the slammer? Yeah. Yeah, so looks like we're heading Dude, to the I, slammer tonight. Have I heard of that? Have we been there? Um, yeah, everybody can give me a 1d10. Let me know what it fell on. Sort of for the reputation of the slammer. Yeah. yeah. Nine. Yeah. Seven. Six. And what did Bud get? Six. Nice. Yeah, Hades, Bud, Rush, all of you have heard of it. Uh, Ali hasn't heard of it. Um, but the slammer is uh, its known as a popular ganger bar on the south side docks, known for its cinder block arena where boosters from all across the combat zones come to settle disputes with heavy firepower and bloody rippers, things of that like. They have a kind of a, a little fight club thing that they bet on. Um, and it's just kind of a rundown sort of club, South Night City, off of the docks. Um, and, uh, you know, Rush, you know, every once in a while they'll throw night markets there. You know, they'll close it down, say it's closed for renovations or whatever for the weekend, and they'll throw a night market or something sometimes. Um, you can also give me uh, a separate 1d10 rush. Sure. And let me know uh, if it if it if it oh, landed uh, beneath your intelligence stat. Uh, no, it's above my intelligence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's about all you're remembering about the slammer. 
Okay. So Ooh. I don't know offhand yeah. uh, where the midnight market portion is usually held within the slammer night markets. No, I mean, well, okay. you, you just know anywhere there's a night market, usually they'll have some type of private room or back area or something where they'll hold like the midnight market part of the night market, which is like the exclusive, extremely high end rare things or important things or whatever. Okay. Okay. Do you know which fixer runs that part of the city these days? Do I? <laughs> um, no, Are you asking no, us? <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing was coming to memory. Okay. Mm, probably no. Change, probably changes a lot. Yeah. Would I have any kind of sway in that area? Um, no, but I mean, not in particular, but honestly, like Alley Katz has a chance anywhere she is to potentially run into a fan or someone that recognizes her, you know what I mean? So it's not really, um, mm. depending on I have on a, a fan club, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot and online. <laughs> <laughs> the world is open to me. Um, yeah. well... I think I'd like to upload like two things to. I forget what you call the net. You know, uh, the, the data pool. City. The data yeah. pool, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think she'd like to kind of drop two things. One, looking to hold another show in a night market, give the, the punters some, some free entertainment. Slide into my DMs <laughs> if you know. <laughs> nice. And uh, um, maybe um, like a, a, a kind of call out for for Pox. Friend of mine hasn't hasn't turned up to work. Um, I'm very concerned. Like physical stats. If you see him, hit me hit me up. Responds to the name Pox. <laughs> The response to the name Pox <laughs> is not microchipped, but is tattooed. <laughs> not, it's not, it's not trained. <laughs> he will come up to anyone. Uh, he's very Dream friendly. Yeah, give me your... Extremely naive. Give me your uh, charismatic leadership. Um, just based cool. on that Do you want pose. me to do that twice or both? Um... Yeah, do it twice. Okay. Um, yeah. So this one will be for the night market thing. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> That's a no. Hmm. <laughs> the critical mm. failure. No. Ouch. Ah, yeah. It's not like it's not an usual thing, right? <laughs> it, it was it's a, also it very was short. A, yeah. Short notice. Um, this will be for parks. Eleven. Better. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Six and five is pretty good. Let's get the dice updating there. It wasn't updating on that. Um, yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, you, you get some feedback about the show stuff, but the yeah, majority of the fans that hit you back don't seem to have hookups to any night markets. They're not really no. of that caliber. Um, but you get a lot of fan messages like, you know, come play my party. I'll, I'll pay you to come play at my high school will you go to my next dance with me like lots of kid fans and then lots of, <laughs> lots of adult ones as well like just trying to hit you up like come do you do any private shows uh no it's, you're no, just getting bombarded no, yeah no, no, but you no. do but you do Your get, agent probably uh, knows how to filter most of those but yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it's got some kind of algorithm but she did specifically like put a call out so yeah so these you were looking at <laughs> yeah. a little more but you did get a little bit of feedback about pox you know you, you describe what he looks like that he's missing and kind of the time that he left hades and things like that um and one fan uh hits you back and says oh yeah uh someone described like that uh you know and mentions the sixth street tattoo on the neck that you described and the way that he looks um i think something went down with somebody like that in the in the uh, old combat zone um, late last night or something, but I, I don't know. I, it might just be a rumor or something. Want me to go look for him? I mean, I feel like we should, right? Want me to just tell Jones and maybe he could send some of his boys? Yeah, that we, might can't work, just, yeah. we can't just leave his corpse in the, in the on the ground to rot. 
Oh, don't worry about that. Someone's probably eaten him by now. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, I mean, what if he has, like, armor or money or guns or something? I mean, we should have it. We're we're his next of kin, basically. Sometimes yeah, the let's... combat zone taketh away. Oh. Well, if you can put together a call out, have someone go look for him. That yeah, would well, be... I'm sure Jones will want to know, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jones is definitely going to want to know. So, uh, so I'll call Jones, just let him know about, you know, potential that Pox might be in the combat zone, you know, just to give him the details. Okay. Yeah, he just, okay, I guess uh, we'll send some of the guys over there to start looking around. That's odd. I don't know why anything like that might go down there, but okay. Uh, thanks for the heads All right. up. Yeah, hopefully it's not wasting your time or anything like that, but it's just a potential lead. Yeah, uh, I mean, if something happened, I, I, I want to see what's up. He's family now, you know, so uh, thanks for the yeah. heads up. No problem. Okay, well, um, back to our business. Yeah. How are we going to get to the <laughs> night market? How are we going to get to the night market? Yeah. Well, if we start yeah. walking uh, now, we might get there in time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is the end cart running or is it flooded out at the moment? Uh, it's running. Yeah, well, public transport for us. No more car oh. from the uh, from the NCPD. Uh -huh. I know. Doesn't anyone have a There's car? There's a lot of ponies on the end cart. Uh, do you know how much a car goes for these days? Got any nomad friends? I did. <laughs> um, but then, you know, stuff gets personal, and then uh, suddenly you don't have no nomad friends anymore. I think Combat Cab still runs if you want to shell out for a private car. Do we want to shell out for that, though? I mean, here's the thing. Do you want to go on public transportation with that stuck to your mitt? Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. Well, let's just Maybe I mean, let's split like, it yeah. between us, right? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Man, it sucks not much. having a ride anymore. <laughs> that's why everybody likes the Nomads so much. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> All right, well, let's order a combat car, get over there, and start sniffing. Well, it's not... Yeah, we'll yeah. say uh, it's, I... it's only about 50 eddies to get on that side of town over to South Knight City, so whoever's paying that yeah, or if you're splitting it up, just deduct that. But what were you saying, bud? Well, I, I, I was... Uh, I, I could get down there early. I, I don't have a lot of personal business, you know me. Uh, scope out the place. Just see what I can see from the ground. I mean, then you guys have the data. Uh, do a bit more digging. See if you know who's running the thing. Sure. Yeah, and it's very, uh, very limited time in the sense that you you went to bed super late last night, getting in in the early right, morning, uh, yeah. sleeping all day enough to be able to heal. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your body stat back to HP. Meeting up, spending ah. time to eat, uh, getting a late start. We'll say you know you're. A couple hours, you know, a few hours from this night market. Okay. Might, might not really have a full day to get too much done right now. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well. You got <laughs> and don't forget to restore some of your HP. Anybody that took damage, at, at least your body stat. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because I'm a slim guy, I only get five back a day, which is taking me a little while to... to, to... <laughs> I mean... It's like two days ago, I was in an arena fighting. Yeah, like, yeah. Had to show dude. off for that guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It was like two days ago. I've been through a, I've been, I've been through a frack and sinking of a, of a ship <laughs> no. halfway across the country and back. So this guy, yeah. it's taken me yeah, a while I mean, to recover. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, I'm still not back up to full. Yeah. Uh, but you know, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother Bud. I mean, um, well, I propose we just get down there, right? And then yeah. if the place is open for drinks beforehand, we can hang out in the slammer until they close. Oh, and, you know, because we know that we're there for the night market, we'll be able to be like, yeah, we're here. We, we, know, we know what's going on. Mm. That, was my, that was my proposition. 
I agree. All right. Anything you guys want to do down. before we go? Finish my coffee? Bear, yeah. Okay. Destroy Bud in our flying onlines. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, no PvP. By the way, I'm uh, level 17, so suck on that. <laughs> Yeah, Donna comes back Ugh. over while you're having that discussion. And says, "Hey, I, I, I got you. I got you all's tabs uh, for today. So, um, you know, meals are on me as always. Um, but, uh, the, you know, I get off tonight around like seven. But if you're free tonight, you, you know, Donna, I would, I would you absolutely know, love to. You know, maybe, maybe Donna would like to see you. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. No, 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 no. You don't no. want to come down." Where we're hanging out, we're we're going somewhere uh, shady tonight. Look, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh. can't tonight. And truth be told, I might be out of town for a couple of days again. But I, I honestly, I promise you, Donna, as soon as I have a night free, we'll we'll go do something nice, okay? All right, yeah, just uh, hit me up. Let me know. Uh, love to hang out. I'm not being evasive. I, I I'm looking at Ali for help. Just what if you got guy. into this? <laughs> I think Ali is gonna. Uh, oh, how good are you looking at me? Like, how desperate do you look? Roll, roll desperity. It's more like assurance. Is this? Am I doing okay? Is oh, am right, I being right. an asshole? What's going on here? Yeah, you can tell. Uh, and yeah, you can tell. Don is. Uh, she's accepting of this. She's being nice. She doesn't seem upset or offended. I think after the last conversations that you were able to have when her brother was there and all that, she kind of gets it. You know. Yeah, no, Ali's gonna I'm like. Busy. I'm, gonna I'm not try blowing her give, off anymore. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm try and give him a look that's like, this is fine, but you're on thin ice. I don't know <laughs> okay, if I can do it. Hang on, let me try and do it. That seems good. <laughs> that's, that, that seems was, good. Okay, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Do Donna looks at you, Ali, and Donna looks at you and goes, "Thanks." <laughs> she realized you had her back a little bit, you know. Yeah, gotta stick oh, together, Oh, and just right? a heads up, though, on any given night, I might just die. So if I don't hear from me, that's what happened. Okay, see you later. Is that no? No, too far? We'll oh. let you know. We'll let you know if he dies, Donna. Oh, geez, but, okay. uh, well, you might all die, so. Well, but likely this... not all of us would die at once, though. The, the odds of that are very, are much slimmer. Be Never zero. Just joking, be safe. That's just joking around. Yeah, we'll be safe. We're we're a pretty crack hot team, and uh, yeah. if Bud gives Evan, if if Bud gets in trouble, I promise we're gonna make sure that he gets out yeah, with at least gonna... one li limb intact. Let's be honest. If he dies, we're all screwed. So he's yeah, he's true. the least likely to die of all of us. Honestly, he's <laughs> he's very hardy. He is. Okay, he is, can he can take that a punch. That has cursed me. I am definitely <laughs> dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Who she, wants to kill me? She looks a little. Nobody concerned. wants to kill me. A lot of people. Me. me. A lot of people want to kill me. My life path is uh, <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Oh, let's Dude, get if anybody, if anybody, like, if there ends up being any killing blow coming toward Bud, you know, uh, what was his name? Xavier from. <laughs> the uh, the guy who ran one of the districts. Xander? Uh, All right, Xander. Xander. It's just going to like fly out of the blue and just be like, no. Oh, <laughs> Not Bud. <laughs> we can't depend on that. Everybody loves Bud. My man. <laughs> you guys reach the slummit? Slammer's uh, got a unique character. Yeah, it does. You'll, you'll oh, see yeah. what we mean when we get there. <laughs> unique smell. Uh, yeah, you might want to pack some things up your nose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you make your way over to South Knight City, over to the Slammer. Um, and as described, you know, as you're parking on one of the many street parking spots available, it's just kind of spread out in this area. You do catch the whiff of some fishy smells down here coming from the docks. There's some fish processing packing warehouses nearby and the wind always hits right on the slammer it just has between that and stale beer and old alcohol smells maybe even the occasional rusty metallic smell of blood from the fight club in the air um it just has is that, that, that a is that dead smell. body 
Exactly. It just has that, that unique sort of, ah, I remember this. I've been here before. Smell like you can't forget it. Um, but you get in there um, and you have no problem getting in. There's a couple uh, security guys at the uh, at the front gate. But uh, but they look you up and down. They can tell that you... Uh, I'll just bring up some imagery here on roll 20. Um, they can tell that you're not... Uh, you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. You look like you belong here. You're obviously edge runners. You've been in the combat zone. Um, and you come in, it's a lot of people hanging out. There's uh, some music playing and a, a night market happening. Uh, there's lots of stalls kind of set up around the edge of this big open uh, room. And people are buying things. They're socializing. They're mingling. Um, and it's kind of as... Uh, as described and as you got word of, it's a lot of cyberware up here. Um, just lots of cyberware, um, anything Ooh. cyberware that you can think of. There's different, uh, you know, booths set up for different uh, types of cyberware, like limbs and chipware, and you know, it's kind of all set up like that. But everyone's just kind of mingling um, and checking out the the booths and stuff. The weapons allowed. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody uh, is in with weapons, and it just seems fairly normal. Nice. Oh, this is a dive bar. Come on. <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, everybody runs. Everybody will run to the night market differently. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I might grab some more memory chips while I'm here. Might as well. But look at this. They don't even have cyberware vending machines like I did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I throw a great night market because look, I mean. Mm. You know, but I shouldn't judge. I haven't seen the midnight market portion yet. Let me just I see mean, if I can locate this. Judge away, right? This mm -hmm. is technically a competitor, and um, you've already got aesthetics and presentation over all of them. Me yeah, too. friendships and competition, they just go hand in hand with this job. Yeah, I don't know, this place has a kind of authentic is... feel to it. Arm wrestle. Oh, oh, bud, you're so rustic. When you go kind live of in a grindhouse, <laughs> grindhouse feel, you know? Yeah, yeah. I love it when people try and pay off rust as if it's, you know, as if it's uh, the new trendy authentic. thing. It's patina. Yeah. New black. <laughs> you know, it's authentic tetanus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna buy some some chips while I'm here. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you find the table where there's all kinds of chipware. Um, some guy there is just slinging chips. Some people are buying, discussing things. Um, there's a little bit of everything. Uh, so what, what chip in particular are you looking for? And you can deduct that price from your um, your eddies. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm just looking for, uh, yeah, basic memory chips so that I can record more brain dances later. Oh, okay. Yeah, easily. Yeah. It goes through a lot fact. of storage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the guy's just kind of surprised, <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've got those here, but wouldn't you like something a little more interesting? You know, you're at a night market. I mean, you can buy this shit on the corner. <laughs> you got a local no, convenience store. No, I make store. it interesting. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> get me back if you want to check out some of the other stuff. Sure. Uh, I'll slip him my card. Yeah, so we are wandering head. around, uh, Hades has <laughs> a 12 pickpocket. No! <laughs> You're gonna get us kicked out of the night market! No what? one's walking- <laughs> no one's walking with me right now! Uh, as- as Hades and- wait, wait- as Hades and Sir Hiss are, uh, walking around, uh, Hades has rolled a 12 pickpocket. Right, to do what? Yeah, exactly. You have to, <laughs> you have to kind of give it some context and like. You have to yeah. choose a target. Yeah, you have, you to, have like, to pick someone. What are you I doing? choose. I choose. Well, first I wanted to roll. And see how, <laughs> first I wanted to see how well it went before I chose. That um, does is not how it works. That's not, Shush! Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't need your lip. Um, no. Uh, so what I, I want to try to go for. Um, so you say, is is there any like weapons tables? 
I know there's a lot of cyberware. Yeah, everything is, is, is cyberware, but there are uh, there is a table where there's some cyber weapons like pop up melee blades, pop up guns. Hmm. Uh, uh, you see some wolvers, rippers, uh, you know, any type of like cyber weapon. Um, there's pretty much everything here. I would like to go for a cyber weapon. <laughs> you don't even have an arm to mount it in. <laughs> well, I might get one later. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I mean, you see a pop-up uh, melee blade, you see a pop-up gun, you see a set of wolvers, a set of rippers. Um, those are kind of on the forefront being displayed. Which which are you trying to grab? Wolvers. <laughs> she, and that's what she does. She's staying there. She goes, wolvers. <laughs> she just, like, <laughs> tries to slide them off the table. Yeah, you, you go in as you're sliding them off the table. Um, a hand just clamps down on your wrist instantly, um, and the the woman that's at the vending table right there, she has a hold of your wrist, and she's like, "What are you doing?" Look at them more closely to see if I like them. And she kind of shakes her hand to let go, and she's like, no, "You can look with your eyes." And a couple people kind of turn and are looking at you, and then a guy that was dealing with somebody else at her same booth, obviously her partner, um, this guy kind of turns around and is just like, "Is there a problem?" And she's like, I, "I think she was trying to steal some." Oh, no! Whoa, whoa, I would whoa, never! Whoa. I would never do something like that! Not with how delicate and wonderful and charming your face looks! How would someone like me with such a handsome gentleman in my presence even try something like that? How dare! How dare! Okay, I think she just forgot that she picked it up. <laughs> Give me a, a persuasion, uh, both Hades and Allie. 18? This is gonna be the one where you... Oh. Can you please put some points in pickpocket? <laughs> I plan to. I plan to put. I plan to. Oh wait, no, that's it's. it's there's a 16. modifiers that, in there. Yeah. Uh, it's it's sixteen because the modifiers were. Uh, I had put oh, my last oh, medal was... on. Uh, on that's my uh, pickpocket. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank um, you. I plan to put a lot of points into pickpocket. Yeah, the, the guy can. just kind of grabs the wolvers back, yanking them up, puts them back down, and gives you a dirty look. Then he looks to Allie when she mentioned that, and like. Yeah, maybe she forgot or whatever. That, that's fine. Just please keep an eye on your friend. Uh, we don't need stuff like that going on in the market. And somebody else in the crowd leans over and just like, yeah, we don't act like that at, at here. Yeah. So sorry about that. It's just so a rude. I, this lapse is so of the mind. In, incredibly rude. This Allie, this is a very rude establishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think she's just going to like <laughs> take out um, Hades by the shoulder and just pull her away. Yeah, you pull her away. If you're uh, gonna do stuff like that, you can't get caught. Caught? Now I'm. Now I'm Donna? Now Donna. I'm long, Donna? Long Donna? Island. Don't Donna, get caught. I didn't caught, realize okay? you were here with us. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, don't get caught, all right? It's. it's well, you're it's right. Not you're classy. right. I, just, I didn't really. You know what, though? As soon as I laid eyes on those wolvers, I realized maybe I need some cyber arms. Well, let's get paid by doing this job first, okay? You know, you're right. I think I need yeah. to think about this some more. That's good, yeah. More thinking on that. What's, Less uh, stealing. What's, what's Bud and Rush doing when you see all this go? You know, what, what were you guys doing? You, see, you notice Hades walking around, dealing with that. <laughs> Allie kind of getting her out of a sticky situation. What was Bud and Rush doing? I've been looking um, at reflex boosters. Ooh. Think got any of those? Oh, yeah. Got any send estimates? Oh yeah, anything cyberware is here. Obviously, I mean, even though this is the slammer, whoever is putting this on, or a group of fixers, whatever that put together these vendors, like they they went extensive. It's a cyberware night market, and literally everything cyberware is here. Oh, do they have and do they have a ripper on a, a ripper dock on hand? Uh, well, they have a hookup to a local ripper dock. Anything you get here, you get free installation. Ooh. Um, right, but at a later 20, date. 24 so hour river dock it. down the road. Yeah, 24 hour. Anytime okay. you can make it in, you got the ticket, you get it. Yeah, I can't imagine well, get, there wouldn't be a, a hookup. I'll get Sand Estevan uh, if I can find one. 500 eddies. Yeah. yeah. It's there. Uh, you want I've Rush. already got the. Yeah, if Rush can give me a discount, why? If he's not too busy right now. Not to push it, but I do like to see Rush shine in a night market a little bit. It's kind of his. Please. If right. those two are doing stuff together, maybe we walk around together, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. We've also got a plus two. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Wookie Kev. 
So, uh... You, wait, no, you know, I'm quick, Rush, but... I want to be... I want to be cyber quick. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be cyber quick? I know, But right? at this Santa price, Vet? look at this. I think we I can know, do better than know, that. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> it's a it's a twenty one minus nine. Yeah, or so. maybe worse. <laughs> Not good. Rough. Almost the worst fumble you could have. <laughs> um, you, you still I'm... yeah you still beat uh, the contested roll that I had here. Oh um, no. just, wow! Yeah. Um, All right. So yeah, what, what 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 exactly did you say to this guy that convinced him? Uh, even with how horribly that that conversation went, you still <laughs> convinced him somehow. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. It goes like this: like, Come on, nah. Come on, nah. Come, come on. Come on. All right. Uh, <laughs> They That's had why us I like you. This tough. <laughs> yeah, he's so like, how much does yeah. it cost me back? Um, I believe that gets you the ten percent off, right? Rush. So fifty so, eddies off. Is that what it is? Ten no, percent off at your level? No, that's five eddies off. I I, I think so. No, it'd be fifty. You'd have four four fifty instead of five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how maths. Yeah, let, let's say 10% right now because I am... I'm pretty sure it's 10% discount on things you want to buy or 10% increase on your selling or 20% for paying for a gig per person on a job or something. But just double check that. Yeah. We can always circle back around and get bud his budget adjusted. But uh, yeah, 450 you got it. Uh, hey, uh, Rush was able to get the hookup. Uh, I've been feeling a bit detached lately though, so I, I think I might need therapy after I get this put in. I could use a little therapy myself. Uh, seeing gotta, 80s kicking around a head, that was a little... It was a was, bit much, yeah. What? You got a good hookup, though, right? You, you know you know someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's great, too. Um, what was her name? Uh, his name was Bill Starsky. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hit him up. Uh, you, you, you spotted anywhere it looks like a back room while we, we've been doing the rounds? Well, that's what I've been looking for. Give yeah. me a perception, Rush. I'm going to drop oh, no. all my but, luck but on this. can give me that, too, if that's what you all were looking at. Um, and while you guys are kind of scoping out the back room, what's Allie and Hades doing? Allie, you just kind of saved Hades from that little scenario. What are you doing next? Uh, trying to stop her from stealing, I think. <laughs> I think I'm on Hades' watch for, uh... For uh, the duration of this trip, Hades, until are, I, are unless you, are you being tame or does this need to be contested? <laughs> I think she's gonna try and steal anything else. I think she's kind of she's now actually just kind of looking around to see. Um, are would there be any uh, interesting programs for her? Um, no, you're not seeing any programs here. Um, the extent of net running style shit here is like you know. Uh, Internal mm. virtuality goggles, um, you know, anything internal, um, mm. anything cyberware related, but uh, programs, nah, no cyber decks or programs. Mm. Yeah, she's kind of just looking around. <laughs> she, uh, she does. I think... <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, she does come across the table, she's like, Oh, Allie, look, a cyber snake. We could have matching cyber snakes. <laughs> that would be cute. Oh, I mean, it does take a hell of a lot of humanity loss. I think that's the first time I've heard them described as cute, like getting matching cyber snakes. And oh, that would be cute. Like That would be cute. This horrifying <laughs> cyber snake. <laughs> I love that for us. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't open your whole jaw to install it. It's, it's not cute. <laughs> yeah. And it's I imagine cute. I imagine then they just do like a pose, a cute pose, and then snake just... I mean, not to put my own politics in it, but people talk about a new nose as if it's cute, and you need to peel off a whole face to get rhinoplasty, so... Pe peel let me off have my much. thing. Peel off a whole jaw. Same, same diff. <laughs> Easy peasy. Same diff. Same thing. Uh, I might also be sussing out if I can see any, like... Like, big players is what I'm looking for. Like, people who are looking like they're, they're running stuff. Yeah, give me a perception roll. And what's Hades doing? 
He's just looking at all the goods. Just trying okay. to see if there's anything that interests her. Trying to get all the... Yeah, yeah and... she's she's not being suspicious anymore. At this yeah. Has she asked for, like, the cyber snake color? Like, what color schemes you can get it in? <laughs> oh, yeah. She, I mean, she is looking at the, uh, the cyber snake oh. at the moment. Oh, my. That was uh, another crit success. Yeah, oh. um, Bud and Rush both, uh, while everything's going down, you both notice that um, off to the side of the bar, and you've been here before, you're, you're familiar, um, where there's kind of like a back entrance down dockside where you go down the side of the building um, to go down to the lower level where the fight club typically is, a little fighting ring and stuff downstairs. Um, you notice there's a couple security guards at that back door um, and they've kind of like turned a couple people away. They have some type of digital pad. Um, they let somebody else in. Um, while you notice that on the other side of this room where Hades and Allie are doing their rounds, Allie, you notice out of the whole crowd, everyone's just kind of street level. Like they're either looking like they're from a booster gang or a possible edge runner. Everyone's at this night market shopping like, like you would suspect. But you do notice like a couple high-end exec uh, looking guys, a, a, a female with a couple security, a couple guys at one point, just in separate groups, uh, go to this sort of back door. You, you're not familiar with the slammer, you don't know where it goes or what that's about or whatever, but you do notice a couple important looking people in a couple different groups go, uh, and the guy with the digital clipboard kind of check off or whatever and let them pass and go in. Uh, Russian Bud, you notice it as well. Uh, and Hades, uh, Again, looking over all the tables, anything cyberware uh, you, you, you see on all the tables. I might check check in with with the boys, <laughs> and um, just kind of over over earpieces, be like, uh, "Hey, I'm seeing a few, you know, important players congregating in a certain area. Are you seeing what I'm seeing?" Yeah, I think that's a midnight market. Okay. Looks like well, there's a, a list, so uh, we might need to get on that if we're gonna get past those guards. I'm thinking possibly some bribery. That's Either no that, angle. or it might be a um, might be a digital list. Might be. Yeah, it Does could it... be stored somewhere. They're linking to. Does it look like a physical list or like a, a digital one that could be hacked? Uh, it looks like a digital list. Uh, he has some type of like, you know, iPad looking device. Uh, it's glowing. He's accessing. Do, do I know I mean, if that's something that a Netrunner would be able to hack from a distance or? Um, well, Hades would know if there's any type of like digital guest list on the pad. It's probably yeah. connected to a nearby system. That's something. Could, yeah, that she could possibly hack and get into. Um, so I imagine she can hear all of this going on like it's a, a yeah we can chat. say that all of you got back together you know it's just one big room up here by the bar yeah. and all these booths so you guys get back together you're discussing this but um but yeah uh, just to confirm the conversations that you just had all of you are 100 percent right in your assumptions like yeah it looks like a digital list could potentially hack that in a system maybe um we could also try to bribe the guy maybe um seems like all these options seem viable lady I mean... the view any thoughts? Well, let's let me see what I can see. Um, I'm gonna see if there's anything nearby. Nine. Nice. Anything? Anything um, nearby? <laughs> yeah, you can see that there's uh, there's some type of system at the bar, um, and then there's some type of system right next to the door uh, where those security guys are with their pad. Um, and then you're detecting it looks like there's two systems coming from down below a lower level. Um, and, and you're familiar with this club too. You had you had a role where you were familiar, right? Um, so yeah, you yes. can tell there's a couple yeah. systems coming from downstairs where you know in the past when you've been here is where like they have the fighting ring and stuff. Hmm. My guess would be it's probably coming from the system near to where they're standing. Can we can you get within Few meters of it um is it is the door anywhere near the bar i mean, you said there's a system near the bar but is the door near ish to the bar like if if she went up to the bar and sat down to get a drink could she like kind of scooch close <laughs> enough to the door so your goggles yeah, on uh... oh no she has she has in place she doesn't have to have goggles oh nice of course yeah nice yeah. you don't need the goggles that makes she can just 
yeah, vaguely you can tell, stare around. Uh, you can tell at one end of the bar, it looks like it's within six meters of that door and that system that you've detected. Um, but let's do a luck check and see uh, if anyone is sitting on those stools or occupying no. that end of the bar. Ah, nice. So you'd have to do a 1d10 and see if it if it ends up under your luck stat. Show me lucky. It is under my luck. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, you look, uh, just, just as you notice, hey, that looks like it's within six meters of the system. A couple people grab their drinks and kind of step up out of, out of a couple seats. Hey. Um, all right. Well... I think our best bet is probably going to be to try and get on the list because, for whatever reason, some people aren't moved by money. <laughs> and she's going to get up and go over. <laughs> we'll try this first. <laughs> she's going to go over and sit kind of at that end of the bar. Yeah, you sit there. I'll lean up. I'll up next to her as well. Okay. Yeah, the second you get over there, uh, the bartender girl that's there, she just kind of like gestures like, I'll be with you in a minute. She goes back. She's waiting on other people. Uh, Here we go. Wow, critical success. Nice. Yeah. As you... in twenty-one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and and then all of a sudden she sees she sees the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a great role. Um, real quick uh, for any new listeners, just describe your avatar while you're in a system. What what do you look like? <laughs> So when she goes into the system, uh, her avatar is Hades, who is, if anyone is familiar, uh, is kind of a cross between Vampire Hunter D and uh, Hellboy. So very pale, kind of slenderish, very tall, the devil horns, uh, dude, Trent, black trench coat, cigar, which right now is a pretzel. <laughs> uh, and has a very deep like rumbly devil voice nice. So. nice yeah you get into the system uh <laughs> easily with that um you know you're you're facing a password dv6 um you accessing the system you're within six meters um so where do you want to use that uh roll ability roll your your interface roll um because you don't need it to access the system you can either use that to bypass the password dv6 that you're you're facing on level one or you can use it to um, uh, Pathfinder the whole system. I would like to use it to Pathfinder, if okay. I may. Yeah, you're, you're facing a password uh, six. Um, and then on the second level, uh, it looks like there's a scorpion uh, sitting there. Um, and then on the third level, it looks like there's a control node and a file. And that's it, just a simple little three level system. Okay. Uh, oh, and the control node and file um, it looks like the control node is a DV8 and the file is a DV6. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what you see. Yeah, that's pretty much hey. everything in there. That was such a great role to use for Pathfinder. Uh, you see everything in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, and also, whilst she is up here, she's going to activate invisibility because I don't want to do with a scorpion. <laughs> nice. Give me your interface. Let's see if it uh, if it works. Come on, working. Ten. Nice. Yeah. yeah give me your uh, your two d six. It works for four minutes. <laughs> Okay, four, Is four minutes? Uh, four, four rounds. Or, much four four rounds. rounds. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Four um, rounds. <laughs> well, that's... Four minutes is an eternity in net running. Yeah, four uh, minutes would be fine. better, actually. But uh, but regardless, well, that's I, great. You're, you're invisible. <laughs> you're sitting at the top there. Um, you still have one more uh, action. Okay. One more net uh, let's, let's shoot for the password. 15. Nice. You break through the password. You're sitting there. Um, at, at that moment, you everyone you see Hades kind of messing around in the system. Uh, and then that bartender uh, girl comes back, um, and she just says, "Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel. What's everybody gonna drink tonight?" Uh, is it just me and Hades at the bar, or are you guys? What are you guys doing? I think I'd be around. Yeah, I'd be there too. I just just um, some beers is what I was gonna order. But you guys can. Well, I'm gonna, gonna order, order whatever is your most uh, complicated cocktail, please. Okay. Get two with lots of sugar, please. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'd all like a cocktail. One that you need to go into the back for. Yeah, well, we got this thing called the Sticky Silver Hand. You can have some of that. She kind of starts whipping up this elaborate drink. Uh, multicolored. Fantastic. even has some weird smoke stuff coming off and umbrellas and things. Mm. It's, it's elaborate. It's yeah, elaborate. I... Nice. I just wanted a way to uh, you're really distract her while Hades is doing her thing. That's yeah. going to be like 12 minutes tops. Yeah, she's, <laughs> like I didn't, know they, I didn't of... think they'd have a mix. I didn't think they'd have a mixologist in the slammer. <laughs> she, she's over there like flipping, you know, oh. you gotta up fire. <laughs> you got to upskill, babes. She, she leans over and she's like, uh, I would never I would never work at the slammer. Uh, I was privately hired uh, for the night market. Uh, Thank you very much. And she sense. turns around and keeps oh, mixing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's, like full, it's like full gastronomy there where she needs to like get the dry ice out and like <laughs> yeah i was just gonna order a beer so she has like a smoke machine with like oak chips yeah. and stuff. oh my god <laughs> i'd like my drink tonight please yeah, she's, she slides you and rush over a couple beers while she continues working on these elaborate yeah. mixed drinks but hades you're back in the system all right. You know, on the next oh. level, you're looking at a scorpion. But you are invisible for the next uh, uh, three rounds. Well, I'm going to ignore the scorpion. And uh, we're going to roll a... Just pass it on by. Ignore it. Yeah, you drop down a second level. Uh, you pass the scorpion. You can go down to the third level. You're facing a control node and a file. Um, ID right. 6 and an ID 8. Uh, well, you just rolled wow. that. You can use that for either one. That's a great roll. Yeah, let's you're roll. Critical, you're crit successing, aren't you? I am. I am. Where, where was this for my pickpocket? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. Um, could have had some wolves. You're, uh, you're a net runner, not a fixer I, fee for like, come on. I, you know this, this is it's where fine. you shine. This is where I shine. I'm very shiny. Um, very shiny. <laughs> we're going to go. The control is a little bit higher, so I'm going to go for that. Okay. Yeah, you get into the uh, control node, uh, and you see that you're controlling uh, the locks to this door. Um, you know, it says door locks. Um, it says lights. Um, and then it says electric flooring. That's all it says. Do I know where the electric flooring is? Um, it looks like it's mapped out uh, to the stairwell. Looks like uh, whoever controls this node controls this door the lights to the stairwell leading down and uh, the electric flooring that's connected to it. Eat. Just the lights and stairwell, though. Yeah. No intercom, no holograms, no... <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, I, I no got that, I got that. No dance floor right. lights. No dance floor lights. Um... <clears throat> Uh, okay. Let's put our names on the list, please. I'm yeah. working on it. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna roll for the file. Roll for file twelve. Nice. Yeah, you get into the file, um, and yeah, you're looking at a file that basically has a midnight market guest list, um, and you see just some random names on there. There's maybe like uh, fifteen to twenty different names with like random plus two, plus four, plus one, plus six, you know, things like that on the names. Uh, well now there are four more names on there. Maybe just put one with plus three, that might be more surreptitious. I'll put two with plus one. Ah, clever. <laughs> All right, who's name? Compromise. Names? Uh, Mr. Arlo Rush Sims plus one. And <laughs> Lady Minji Hades Jin plus one. Nice, perfect. <laughs> yeah, you easily get that on there. Um, you still have one more uh, net action, or you can use this to jack out. No, no, it's not going to. <laughs> Fight it! Fight it! Um, she's gonna do a uh, concealed concealed. check. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution check on myself. No. Um. You do a cloak. Can... cloak. Yeah, go for it. Give me your uh, interface. Let's set the uh, fourteen. Cloak nice. Very good. All right, cool. Yeah, you do that um, and jack out. Right, right when you set that cloak and jack out, uh, the bartender turns around with your elaborate mix of drinks, all 
Ooh. Smoking and fruity, multicolored. It looks like there's even some type of LED flashing light at the bottom of the cup thing. Like these are elaborate. Wow! Look at all these umbrellas. I imagine there's like there's like twelve umbrellas in like each of these cups. It's like hard to drink. Yeah. Like, I can't yeah. get I can't get in. I can't get to it. But how does it taste? I don't know. I can't get to it. <laughs> it tastes like uh, your mouth is numb from the right. variety of flavors. It's strong, too. No, I think that's just rimmed with synth coke. Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. <laughs> Sounds like a slammer, like a martini glass rolled in salt. Mm -hmm. They just roll it in yeah, synth yeah. coke. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, you get your drinks. Uh, bartender quickly turns around waiting on other people. It is a busy night. Oh. There's lots of people. Um, but she, uh, but she yes. drops the the little bill there uh, for the drink. So if anybody wants to pay that, just deduct, um, you know, ten bucks per mixed drink, five per uh, smash or beer. Um, so you're looking at I'll like pay thir for the thirty cocktails. Yeah, thirty. Since I, well, I ordered all of them, <laughs> but I'm not paying for the beers. Okay, I'll twenty beers. twenty cocktails, ten bucks for the beers. Just deduct those. <laughs> you have the drinks. Oh, yummy. Okay, well, uh... Thank you, thank you. Got you got it done. What? Did you get it done? Who do you think I am? Okay, yeah, that's... She's just gonna... Yeah. Right. Yes. She's gonna just, Co like, kind of drift <laughs> over toward the door. With how loud she said, uh, who do you think I am to you, but a couple of people sitting next go, and, like, look over because she's so loud, just like... <laughs> yeah, you! You too, you should know! <laughs> She's just gonna go over toward the door. You hear you hear okay. them talking. I don't know who that is. Is that somebody? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess we present ourselves at door. Yeah. 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 With this with this real elaborate drink, just like I imagine. Also, maybe there's like a sparkler coming out of it, just like. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, go over. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Right beside the straw, the sparkler. Right. And just ah, my eye. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am here for the Midnight Market. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, he he oh, checks the list, going down the list. Um, he asks for your names to check on the list. Yes, uh, <clears throat> Minji Jin, but I go by Hades. So that's what you'll call me. Uh, okay. He goes down the list, uh, he finds the name, checks it off, uh, gets the other name, checks it, okay, yeah, you're all clear. Steps aside, see him mess with the pad, the door opens, gestures for you to I'm go I'm plus in. one. He's my I'm plus with her. one. All right, cool. He's with him. Yep. Yeah, and as you- Move, uh, <laughs> Move out of my way! <laughs> yeah, and all of you are able to step in. Uh, let me bring up the uh, the players to the map so you can see. Used your real name? Well, We're doing real business. This actual business besides, if they look at, why don't you bring a fake ID? Okay. At least you didn't use my name. Oh. <laughs> I'll yeah, walk not in. that you know of. <laughs> yeah, as you, uh, as you head down, you make your way out the, uh, the back entrance. Um, and it's basically down the stairwell, down to the sort of separated alley that goes down to the bottom level of the slammer. Um, and you can hear music coming from inside, uh, some fighting as you normally would hear in there. You know that they have the, the fight club. Um, it looks like there's a, a couple security guards down there at the door. Um, and yeah, let's, let me grab everybody's tokens and just get you down in there in the alley. So we can roll initiative for a fight? <laughs> <laughs> what? There you go. Oh no! All right, cool. Oh, yeah, nice. you, you go down Very there, cool. uh, and when you get down there, the two security guards um, just kind of look you up and down and nod and uh, um, gesture for you to uh, take your weapons. One of them says a uh, weapons check. Yeah, there you go. These are my That's weapons. Fine. <laughs> I hand him, hand him my weapons, all the, um, within me. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I've got an internal holster, so. Yeah, and he oh. takes that. You can tell uh, um, the one guy's kind of looking everybody up and down, maybe some type of thermal eyes or something, but he looks up down and he's like, all right, cool, and 
after you hand everybody weapons. Uh, he doesn't look for hidden holster sort of things or cyberware, but he takes everybody's guns, blades, Bud's new uh, Mono Kodachi 3 or whatever he got, right? It's not yeah, that's right. He got yep. that uh, Kendachi Mono 3. Uh, but yeah, they take all the weapons, they check it, they get your names, um, give you a little tag, uh, like a little ticket uh, for your things, put it off in a side safe, open the door, and you enter the bottom level of the slammer. Um, let me reveal that. Mm. <laughs> that mm. authentic smell. Unadulterated stench. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Mm -mm. There you go. Blood oh, lick. wow. Whoa. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Lion Banner Games, an official sponsor of uh, Cyber Nation Uncensored. And through that, they've been hooking us up with maps uh, and animated maps and static maps, not just for games there, but also our games here at Sirenscape. So shout out to Lion Banner Games for the hookups. Um, Shit. But yeah, you all can enter with your tokens as you step into this midnight market uh, level of the night market. And there's a lot of people down here, not as many as upstairs, um, but you notice a lot of the people down here are wearing suits. Um, they're, you know look a little higher class, a little more important, like Allie was kind of looking out for earlier, upstairs seeing who kind of comes down here. Um, it looks like there's um, a couple shirtless guys in the fighting ring fighting with melee blades, and they're really messing each other up. It looks like it could be a fight to the death, possibly. Um, and there's some people gathered around having drinks, smoking, and watching um, just kind of casually. Uh, some people are cheering, some are watching. Um, and off to the right side, it looks like there's uh, four different stalls of like midnight market booths um, and then on the back wall you see two more security guards by some back door um, and it's at this moment I would As love what rule says, that's, that's where the ice baths are right the what, what was that <laughs> the ice baths oh yeah that's where exactly. the ice baths are yeah exactly um, and at this time I'd like to use the uh, the Artal Saurian's data pack uh, that just came out. They sent me that with the net running deck and a third edition of the book and all kinds of goodies, which I really appreciate. Shout out to Artal Saurian Games. Um, but I would love for each one of you to roll a 1D100. And let's just, we're going to dip into the section of the data pack. Um, I know you can't see it, uh, but it basically has uh, 20 vendors at uh, a midnight market, Mr. K's market. Um, and this being more targeted towards execs and corpse and things, this should be a, pretty interesting. So let's see. All right, let's see. For, uh, what's the first number? Forty-nine. All right, uh, Mutasem's Investments. More, more a financial service than a shop. Uh, Mutasem's Investments is run by a Lebanese exile, Adam Mutasem. Uh, and he caters to Muslim clients who wish to invest their money in ways compatible with Islamic religious law. Uh, Mudism's investments uh, is rather humble than it used to be before the Mideast went nuclear, but Adam, uh, his work in drawing in non-Muslim clients who want to invest ethically in the moral hellscape of the post-Fourth uh, Corporate War world has helped diversify his business and keep it afloat. Uh, he works with his sister, Nur, a religious scholar, and her husband, uh, Muhammad Sisasko, and uh, a historian of French Malian descent. Uh, Adam is a man to talk to if you want to contact Mid-Easterners in exile. Uh, Modisim's Investments maintains a stall at this midnight market uh, for important meetings that can be reached anytime via agent. So that's a lot of fun lore right there. What was the next number? Awesome. <laughs> 12. Yeah, these, uh, this midnight market, these stalls really do cater to an interesting uh, clientele. But the, this one is a Torrell and Chang. Torrell and Chang is a, tailor, a tailor's shop geared towards the finest, the very finest of bespoke tailoring. A three-piece suit costs 5,000 EVs, luxury. Uh, but it also expected to last 10 to 12 years, uh, barring any unfortunate bullet holes, obviously, or stains. Uh, for that precisely sum, you get a suit, coat, uh, wrist, uh, waist coat, and two pairs of trousers to alternate. Uh, 
all count as high fashion clothing for shirts, ties, socks, cufflinks. You have to find a reputable uh, haberdasher somewhere else. Uh, their house specialty is discreet armor and stain proof coatings to make sure the upwardly mobile exec uh, doesn't ruin their clothing in an occasional hostile takeover attempt. I love it. So there's execs down here like slumming it because they get to watch fights to the death. But they also yeah. get to contact their tailor down here as exactly, well. Exactly, exactly. Wow. <laughs> like it's a pretty interesting the... uh, mix of high caliber midnight market. It, it appeals to a, a very weird clientele. But what's that? What's another number? Uh, eighty-one. Eighty-one. Mona's. It's called Mona's. You see a big sign that says Mona's. Mona's is another upscale restaurant. But it could not be more different from Angelo's in tone or style. Located in a large and comfortable field tent, Mona's purpose uh, or purports to be a, f a family restaurant serving hearty, wholesome food from a last name, and they deliver that experience wholesale. Uh, wait staff are trained to be warm and familiar with customers, and the entrees range from, range from meatloaf to macaroni and cheese to tabaki <laughs> and soto ayam. Uh, all the foods are made fresh and our uh, and children are welcome. Not that any are in this midnight market, but that's the restaurant behind this booth, we'll say. Uh, the restaurant even uh, gives kids crayons and paper place placemats to draw with oh, Mona's. Wow. With Mona's is a popular place to celebrate family events with, but some more informal CEOs prefer to take their staff out to Mona's and attempt to soften their image. Uh, but she has a booth here, uh, put, give, uh, giving out samples and such and uh, selling food. Cyber Applebee's. It is. Yeah, it's Cyber people's, Applebee's. People's gotta eat. And they do have some <laughs> holiday pud. Oh. Cyber Applebee's. Good. Applebee's is now like high end because it's like it's real mac and cheese. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Are you kidding? Real cheese? Like, can you imagine? I know. It's crazy. Oh. We, we know how hard it is to get a cow. And the last one is 56. All right. The last booth is Bonbons. Bonbons is a classy chocolatier in, uh, of sweet uh, confections that are as much art that are as much art as treat. And accordingly, it receives most of its business in the days leading up to, to Valentine's Day. Uh, they also make a, a decent Euro buck selling, selling very upscale chocolate advent calendars and are commissionable for catering at truly exclusive events like a midnight market. A pair of siblings, Simon and Yvonne Lee, run the shop. Simon is the shop's manager and accountant, and Yvonne is the certified pastry chef who works wonders with ganache. Uh, both Simon and Yvonne have a benevolent uh, mindset. They started out on the street with very little until Yvonne's street candy making became viral on a Rocker Boys brain dance music video. Oh, let's tie this to Alley Cats. And they try to hire <laughs> apprentices from similarly humble backgrounds and yeah when alley cat sees this booth instantly you recognize uh their brand bonbons and uh, simon and yvonne and years ago you were uh you put out their chocolate maybe it was in some sexual manner some That's weird it. bd way however you want to come up with it <laughs> but you kind of put them on the map and made them famous and when they see you instantly like oh my god alley 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 and they're like trying to give you free samples and things hi <laughs> Oh, oh Hades, God. Hades, every sample they're handing out, Hades is like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's Not... enough samples. You're going to be operating at cost. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, God, that felt like so long ago. The unwrap me campaign. <laughs> yeah, what, what are you, what are you doing here at the at midnight market? We haven't seen you in years. I mean, you, you see what we've grown to. I know! It's, Thanks to you! It's, it's, hey, I mean, I love supporting small businesses. That's part of my thing. And I just, you know, chocolate and um, my kind of work, it's kind of two great tastes that taste great together, you know? Hey, well, whatever, whatever you want. any Anything in stock. Uh, you, your friends, uh, anything you want. Don't yeah, lose, I uh, mean, I might go for it. I set this whole thing up. What's that? We're just trying to make a few connections. Do you know who set this whole thing up? We're just trying to make um, a few connections. Yeah, the guy who runs all the fight clubs here on week that that uh, fixer guy kid. Kids. Yeah, okay. Have you seen kid around? 
Uh, last I saw, he was in the back room, I think, prepping for their big bidding item or whatever they're doing. She points over to where those two security guards are at the back door. Thank you. Perfect. What flavor, what flavor is this one? Oh, that's raspberry chocolate. We got some white chocolate here. Um, some dark okay. over here. Oh, I'd like to... Hey, that, that what raspberry really tastes like? Yeah. yeah. Wow. No, and this is all real ingredients. <laughs> like, we're 100%. That's way nicer. It's True. way nicer. <laughs> I mean, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love a little sample pack. Just, just one of your uh, selections. Yeah. That would be excellent. Uh, she pulls up this sort of Valentine's pack like they're kind of famous for now and putting together these like care packages. Um, but she she shows and she's like, you know, maybe after this, I mean, we're busy tonight. I mean, obviously you're here shopping, whatever. But um, if let's exchange contacts again, I haven't talked to you in years. And like, I'd love to get Absolutely. get a sort of like, you know, theme, maybe an Alley Cats uh, specialty Valentine's. Um, addition or something like maybe we could put something together. Maybe I some, think that's a perfect idea. Some edible yeah, body I've... chocolates or something for your next BD. I don't know. I don't. My yeah. My head is like racing. There are so many good ideas here. Um, look, um, she'll like flick her agent details over. Um, we're doing some other business here tonight. Just checking out the wares. My friend Rush here is very very good fixer so he's just wheeling and dealing but uh when i get back to night city have a chance to sort out some details i will get in touch i promise okay great all right have a good one okay all right take it hey can we get a quick picture before you go absolutely yeah and they get together they're all holding up like a bunch of their chocolates and stuff <laughs> like taking pictures <laughs> um and they do up all the yeah. pictures and uh this is where we'll end our session uh, for today um, with you guys uh, in the midnight market, part of the night market, uh, Ali just made a connection with a, a Bonbon brand, uh, the Bonbon uh, chocolatiers that she helped kind of make famous. They're down here with other unique stalls in the midnight market. There's a fight going on, a bunch of high class clientele around drinking, betting. Uh, you found out from that connection, or Ali did, that uh, Kid is putting on this. Um, and one thing, you know, Rush did try to do that in, in intellect check earlier. I was testing his memory. Uh, but if you remember sessions ago when I mentioned Kid running fight clubs, it was when Rush had his night market. Kid runs fight clubs out of the slammer. Um, so, and when he didn't answer earlier, you know, his voice went, hey, I'm busy prepping. You know where I'll be at. That's kind of what that was about. So a little foreshadowing there. But um, but you figured it out. At least this is Kid's night market uh, through Ali's hookup. And you made it to the midnight market. We'll continue right here next Thursday. Um I apologize to chat for all the technical difficulties. It was out of my control, obviously. Uh, OBS, Twitch, things were happening. Um, so this session was kind of broken up into pieces. And I extremely, I seriously apologize to Dan, who has to deal with that. I, I know you hate having to try to edit the videos together for the VOD. Uh, <laughs> but again, it was out of my control. We did the best that we could. He's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But everybody, check out the links in chat. Show support to all of us uh, players, myself as a game master. Also, make sure you take a moment moment uh, to go vote for Roll to Cast on that Australian podcast uh, voting link. Hopefully Dan drops the link back in there. Um, also, make sure you take a moment to subscribe and follow to Sirenscape on both Twitch and on YouTube and share their pages and videos and things. Let's just keep showing Sirenscape love so we can keep the game play flowing and all these videos and, and coolness. I know they have another team playing Cthulhu. Um, Dan, I think you had something that you wanted to plug that, uh, charity, if you want to put that link in there, I'm sorry, my mind's going blank on exactly what it was. Uh, but I know you had a link uh, to something you're raising money for a good cause. I want everybody to check that out, uh, in chat whenever Dan gets a, a moment, hopefully he'll post it there. Um, but yeah, other than there it is. Heck yeah. I want to help Dan raise money for Seattle, Seattle children's hospital. Check out his extra life page here. There it is. There's the link. Uh, consider donating uh, and showing some support to that. It's a really good, great cause and uh, uh, props to Dan for hooking that up. Um, other than that, thank you to everybody joining our session one of Don't Call It a Comeback. Um, and thanks to the players uh, and we'll see everybody next Thursday. All right. Take care.
Marcin Lerot.